brutalized by the other guys. guys. And, and um, um, I just I had just enough had of it one time, time. I refused to fucking, fucking do it. Do I just walked out. I was like, I was like fuck, fuck this. this. Like, like, because I was, it, was, it was basically, basically a team, team, random teams, teams and, and I had to be on the fucking, fucking team. team. Every time I was on the team, team, I was blamed for the team, team sucking, even, even though the rest of the team would actively, actively avoid me. me. I'm like, like it's, it's not my fault that you don't include me in the team. You can't blame me for the failure when it was all of you cunts failing and me just sitting here and watching you play. So I was like, fuck it. We go watch you play from fucking way over there on the stand. And so, so they were like, like well, you well, can't, can't actually skip the e it's important. And I was like, I know, so what's, so what's, the, uh, what's, what's the remedy, remedy here? here? And they're like, oh, well, you, can you can go play rounds, rounds with the girls, right? Thinking it would be highly, highly emasculating. I'm like, all right, fuck it, I'll go play rounds with the girls. Kicked all their fucking asses. Crushed it. It didn't matter what I was doing. Like, fucking, oh, man. Was it? I remember one time I went up to bat, and... This chick, this chick I, I fucking, fucking hated, hated was on, uh, was the was one pitching, and she, and she fucking, fucking threw, threw, the, uh, threw the ball, I mashed, I mashed that, that fucking, uh, thing, thing so goddamn hard, hard. It, flew it flew back, back at her and knocked her straight, straight in the fucking face. <laughs> <laughs> she went down, down like, like a fucking sack of potatoes, potatoes, and I'm just casually walking around the bases, like, yeah, well now, bitches, well now, now. It was just fucking hilarious. Like, you can't do that. They're just jokes. I'm like, they'll do it to me. I guarantee it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. First chance they get. But my team's like, come on! Yay! I score every single point. So it makes sense now that, uh, yeah, now I'm trans, you know. So I couldn't quite compete with all the guys physically, but with the women, I could actually compete with them. For the most part, come out on Superior. Some of them were actually really, really good athletes. It was, just, it, was just, it was just funny, funny though. Like, <laughs> I, I was the only, only guy who actually got to go into the women's changing room because the, 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 um, the fucking, what was it, the teachers actually are. Part of the thing was you had to, when you set up, you had to remove all the equipment. equipment. So, so no, none, none of the girls were fucking doing it because they're lazy cunts. And so I'm just left there standing up the fucking female fucking PE teachers and like, well, I can help you, but that means I got to go into the fucking women's changing room because I'm going to look at all these topless women and like, well, well, see, they're fucking, fucking lazy. lazy. They're damn proper. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, that on the state No, that was over in England. Oh, really? Um, oh, yeah, yeah. It was, it was, it was just fucking great. Because they came in here. It's like, I'm actually here to do a fucking job. So yes, I'm actually allowed to be in here. Fuck. Fat, 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 fat. But the double standard always just is just too much, much. And every, every time, time and this, 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 this is what, what like makes, makes me laugh all the time. time. You, you say, say to someone, someone like like you know, you know women, women for the most part, part because they, they always, always want to get into some, some sort of conversation. conversation. Always, always you, know, you know, you, you, you go, go somewhere, somewhere they see you, just like a mom or something. Just gotta come on and just try to like suck that energy, and like they start talking, and then and then. You say, you say to them, to them it's, it's quite, quite funny, funny how in 2015 things, you've got, got this degree, degree you, you say you've got this, you say you've got that. that. Yet yeah, the simple, simple premise, premise of non-contradictory identification, you still, still can't, can't quite grasp. Do you see what I mean? It's like if a woman is able to go up to a guy and slap him for no apparent reason, and if, and if we're, we're 20, 20 feet, feet, you say that women are just as equal as men. So, so the guy should be able, able to slap the woman back, back with no, no repercussions. Because, because if you're brave enough, enough to inflict harm on one, on one side, side, and we say that we're not back, back you know, in the 1910 or 1920s, whatever, however long times were, then we can now surmise to say it's okay for the guy to strike back. Yeah, they want him to say. Oh, yeah. Love. <laughs> I love, love it. I had this I had problem on my first, first date. date. Like my first, first, my first date ended really, really well. The whole, whole thing, thing was a fucking nightmare. nightmare. But, but the, the ending, ending was just even worse. worse. Um, um, uh, basically, basically, I, uh, I, went, I to, went to. It was a double, was a double date, date between, between me and my best friend, friend and uh, this girl and her best friend. And it was my my friend set up. So I never met this girl before. And, uh, and uh, she, actually she didn't, didn't like me too much. much. She didn't have the balls, balls to admit it right, right off the bat. bat. I would have I would actually appreciated that. that. But no, no she just tried to get a free, free fucking, uh, you know, free, yeah, free dinner in the movie, right? right? So, so um, um, instead of you know, having, having the amicably in the day, 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 just day, 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 basically day, not calling me, she decided that she would want to sleep with my friend, her friend's date, and have a threesome with them in my fucking bed. And, 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 and the easiest, easiest way to way do, do this was simply to fucking, fucking try and brain me with a fucking, fucking um, um, with the claw, claw hammer. hammer. So, so fucking, 
Because I, 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 I was in the, in the middle, middle of repairing, repairing my, my uh, apartment. apartment. I, just, I, just, like, I, just, I think I just, I just moved, moved in, in at, that, at, that, at that time. That time. We were busy, we were busy doing repairs because it was a fucking flop house before. <laughs> and and um, so, so fucking, fucking she's all trying, trying to mash my head in with this thing. And I'm like, I've told the story to women. And they're like, oh, yeah, well, maybe we did something wrong. I'm like, the only thing I did wrong was fucking let her in my life at all. Like, I didn't instigate any violence at all. And they're like, and they're no, like, no it's, 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 it's got to be, be my fault. fault. It, has it has to be my fault for doing this shit. Like, no, I'm a perfect, perfect fucking gentleman. Everything, everything that you're that you is expected of you and, and, and this bitch was like, no, nah, just fucking kill him instead. That's the easy way to get to it. I mean, I mean, and then she was so disappointed, apparently, with my conduct. I had, like, me and me and my friend had to wrestle her off of me. That's how fucking crazy she was. Um, um, she was, she so, was pissed so pissed off about, about the whole, whole thing. thing. She, she called, called her girlfriends, girlfriends to fucking basically, uh, fucking just swing, 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 swing around, around and, and uh, assault me, me. Like, like fucking, fucking sm- randomly. randomly. And my, I didn't. I, didn't, I just, I just had, I had to stand there and take that. that. And my friend's like, like, "What the fuck? Fight, fight, fight back!" And I'm like, "Because, because mate, the second you swing, I swing at them." They, they, I've, I've lost. lost. I've, I've fucking lost, lost immediately. immediately. Every, Every fucking, fucking guy that they, they fucking talk, talk to, to that, that it, 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 I'm finished. finished. I'll, I'll fucking be, I'll be getting, getting the broken fingers and shit, shit like that, like that you, know? you know? It's, so I just, so had, I just had to stand, stand there and like fucking fuck fuck this, this group of cunt women, women kick my ass. I'm just like, all right, fine. I was like, now, now I'm a trainer. I'll fucking stomp their heads. Yeah. I'll go Norton style on their ass. Yeah, there's all these guys that try to act like the, uh, if you're a transgender that you can't actually uh, compete with the women because you have some advantage uh-huh. and they've actually done a bunch of studies and shown that if you take uh, hormones for two years after uh-huh. two years you basically lose all your bone mass all your muscle mass and all your strength uh-huh. and you're com- you, you compete equally after that with females uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I was trying, I was to, trying explain to explain this to some, some guy, guy on, um, on the group the exposing group feminism. feminism. They, they really, really fucking don't like me over there, there. Um, <laughs> for other, for other <laughs> reasons. But one of the reasons is I used to start fights in their uh, comments, comments with their regular members, members. Uh, uh, even, even though I was, was one of their oldest regular members. And one of the things was it was a fucking basically it was the whole Bruce Jenner, Caitlyn Jenner thing, whatever. And so people were like, oh, well, you know, oh, so no, it was Fallon Fox and all that shit. Uh, but because uh, that was Ronda Rousey bitching, bitching about how, oh, I'll, I'll take on a man, man but I won't fight, fight Fallon Fox, Fox because, you know, she used to be a man. You know, the yeah, exactly. That. You could yeah, fight yeah. her. Yeah. Everybody's like, yeah, she yeah. can, she's going to beat her, but beat her ass. Cause she, she's a woman. And it's like, well, no, after she's at, a lot of guys actually think that some people have actually thought that they're like, well, I'm, I'm a, like a long distance runner or something like that. And once I get to, uh, now that I've transitioned, I can compete with the women and I'll beat everybody and I'll be like the best woman runner. But they've yeah. been on hormones for like three years. And then they get out there and they start to realize they're on an equal footing. They're just as they're they're they have no advantage over any women. And a lot of people don't realize that. They think, well, you were born anatomically a man, so that means you're always gonna have something over women, even if you take female hormones and they don't get it. They just yeah, don't yeah, understand it. I explain it. I explained, I explained it, it as, as um, being, being physiologically female. female. And this, and this one, one dickhead, dickhead just would, would not fucking let it go. He's like, no, 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 because no, you have, like, longer legs and shit. Like, like, you do you realize, realize your, bone, fuck, your bones, bones actually compress. compress. Like, I've, like, I've, I've lost uh, one and a half shoe sizes. sizes. I fit in much, much, much more shoes now because my feet have fucking shrunk. Because my bones have fucking become more compact and whatnot. Yeah, you lose muscle mass, you lose bone marrow, you lose bone mass, you lose, like... A lot of stuff but you gain like an ass so a lot of times oh, because yeah, yeah. you get the hourglass shape when you okay. when you buy clothes or jeans or something like that a lot of your clothes that you had will actually not fit you anymore yep and, and, and the, the, the funny the, 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 the funny thing about this is like when i was in college i went to a college called um, city in islington and i remember back then, then. i had a few you know a lot of female friends a lot of male friends and i remember there was like, it was just then that certain guys had the courage to come out to say that they, they were gay or homosexual or whatever. And then um, I remember a female friend of mine sort of like sat with this guy in a canteen and they were both checking guys out. And I went up to her and said, you do know what's going to happen, don't you? She goes, what? I said, um, you know, like, this guy that you're talking to, eventually, he's going to take away your boyfriend. And yep. she, she said, said <laughs> how, 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 how do you work that out? I said, just look at it, just look at it. Even back then, 
and the guy was light skin, he was good looking, you know, he, he was quite immaculate, you know, and all this sort of stuff. And like I said, he seems to be a lot more feminine than even you are, even though he was like, you know, dressed in female clothing, but you can see how his mannerisms are quite, you know, alluring. And I said, I bet you in the future, these guys are going to take over and, and by Jove, 2015, I was right, see, plus I worked on, I worked in a prison for like seven years, and I can see the transition, how a lot of these women, they just don't have it in them, so it's like, what you just said earlier, on, like, you know, because now, you know, you're trans, transgender, if I'm correct, now you're able, now you're able to do what you couldn't do when you were just as a guy or a regular guy. So, so now right. the table is the table. This, this is, is what I love, you see. I like this. There's no way to hide for women anymore. No. No. Well, that's what's funny. I, I, I told the story not too long ago, actually. They're, they're saying now they've actually literally, it costs like two hundred to four hundred thousand dollars to $400,000, but there's a surgery right now where um, they can actually give you a dead guy's penis and all his balls yep, yep. and everything. There's actually yep, surgery yep. right now for that, which means yep, yep. trans trans w men, m female to male, can have a penis. And also, within the next five years, they're saying they're going to be able to do the same thing for trans women and give them a womb. It's, which means it's, it's all really these people, all these people that are like, you're never going to be a real woman because you can't have like a period and you can't like have kids and all this stuff. That's all going to be changing in the next five years. So oh, man, man. we're going to basically transgender women are going to basically, besides the ones that are fuck fuckheads and want to be like feminists, um, they're going to actually make women obsolete, you know, because I always talk about it. The transgender women, most of them are trying to be like uber uber feminine and a lot of the a lot of women nowadays want you to not criticize them for trying to look like a lesbian they want to wear pants and they want to wear like like t-shirts and they don't want to put on makeup and they don't want to like shave their legs and they don't want to do anything for a man and if you say anything you're shaming them and you're not allowed to do that but then you go to a transgender woman and she's like completely shaved everything on her body. She wears makeup. She wears ball gowns. She wears high heels. And she's trying to look very like like beautiful like a woman would have in the 50s or 40s. And a lot of guys like that. And oh, women yeah. want to try to make that, make like shame you for liking that. But transgender women don't. You know, yep, yep. so it's, it's, they're it's putting them out, pushing them right, right towards, towards my, my loving, loving arms. arms. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Like, like if they, if the, if a woman is stupid enough to have a transgender girl as a friend, as soon as her boyfriend gets a look at that transgender girl, he's going to be oh. like, "Fuck my girlfriend. That yeah. guy, that girl's hot." <laughs> you know. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. You know? And that's that's what's going to happen. Guys. Are willing to let go of the fact that because um, I'm, I'm not getting um, bottom surgery, I'm only getting uh, castration done. They're actually willing to let go of the fact that you have male genitalia. They just don't care. Yeah, it's like, it's because it's, it's the it's the sum of the um, sum of the parts kind of argument. You know, it's like oh well, she's got a dick. Yeah, but look at that fucking ass. Look at that fucking tits. She's beautiful. You know, right height, yeah. fucking proportions, all that shit. Yeah, look at her in heels when she walks around. She looks like a fucking supermodel. You know? so, yeah. so just explain that. To, so just explain that because I don't know the terminology. So you're, you're just having castration, that not bottom surgery. What does that mean exactly? Bottom surgery is when you get full sexual reassignment surgery. Yeah, when you have like a vagina and everything. The thing is, is like if you keep if you keep your testicles, then you you still produce testosterone, which means you're going to have to take testosterone blockers for the rest of your life. But if you have your if you have your testes removed. Then you stop producing testosterone, which means you don't. You can be on a lower dose of hormones, female hormones, and you don't have to. You don't have to like medicate yourself into oblivion because in some cases, uh, taking testosterone blockers and then the hormones can actually give you blood clots. So if you can, if you can stop taking a lot of the medicine and like go from four milligrams down to like two of estrogen, of estradiol, then you can actually be much more healthier. And you'll look more feminine as well because you'll start to lose a lot of your male features by not having the testosterone even in your system. 
Yep, yep, yep. yep. And that, and and I haven't, I haven't even cased because I actually start a transition because I want to get castrated first. first. Like, like I, 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 bound, I, I actually kind of like balanced, balanced the, uh, the, the, the idea around, around for a while. Well, well, bounced bounce the idea. And, and um, um, I was I like, was well, like, well, I kind of, my, 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 the, the only, only argument against was that if I was with someone who basically, oh, sorry, I'm making a cup of tea. Um, um, if, uh, if uh, I was, I was uh, uh, oh, this could be um, oh, oh, yeah, if yeah, I was if with I was someone who wanted me to top them, them then, then if, if I was, if I was castrated, you know, that wouldn't, that wouldn't fly, that would be a relationship killer. But then I just stopped giving a shit about that, and I was like, I'm actually going to consider, um, getting castrated anyway, just to say fuck it. And I was like, well, I'll probably end up growing man tits and being a little effeminate, or even more effeminate. And I'm like, well, I don't, I've already crushed, I've already crushed her before. So I was like, so I was like well, maybe, maybe I should go see a, see a uh, gender, gender therapist, therapist to kind of move this forward. forward. And, then and then when I talked to him, he's like, you're one of the most advanced cases of transgender, transgender I've, ever, I've, I've ever had. had. He's like, I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Sweet. So we came to that realization, realization really fucking quickly. Yeah. <laughs> and I've been forward really with it. I've been much happier. Oh, my God. Ever since and I, since I, it, it, going on, on, I basically said to make sure to, that, that I don't, I don't make, make a mistake, mistake on this, because that's, that's the whole, the whole thing. thing. They're like, they're like, they're like you, know, you know, if you make a mistake, if you make a mistake, talk about back. And yeah. uh, I think it's only one percent of tra tra trannies that actually go regret it after the fact. Yeah, that's that's yeah, that's the thing. Just like with feminism, they always. Like there's people that will be on the on the TV and they'll say, well, there's these people that don't want to transition or they did transition and the later they realize they didn't want to and they'll t they'll they'll grab onto those cases. But the fact is, is they're just in the U.S. alone. They estimate right now. I recently heard the uh, estimate was seven hundred thousand. There's four hundred thousand <laughs> out, but there's an estimated seven hundred thousand. Some that haven't mm -hmm. came out or that are sure, living sure. in stealth, and those people are the ones that they're they're they'll grab onto those few there's very few like out of every say 50,000 there might be two or three that detransition and they'll grab a hold of those two or three and say we can't give all of them transgender medication we can't do all of it because they might be making a mistake and it's like yeah. the vast majority are not making a fucking mistake it's those few few people that are fucking it up for everybody and they're trying to make it harder for us to be transgender so that that's just because of those two or three few people that are that are detransitioning and saying they actually didn't want to be females or males I actually, I actually want to find, find out if, if the, the, what the what percentage, percentage of, of um, people, people who, who uh, avoid the system, system basically, basically go and do it on the black market, market as, opposed as opposed to have people who actually go and do it through, through, go through, through all the channels, channels like I'm doing. doing. Like I yeah. insisted on having doctors look over my shoulder at every step because I didn't want to hurt myself. Well, like, I, know I, know, I, know, I know a girl who actually got, got um, pancreatic cancer and she OD'd on hormones. Yeah, I had a... I have a friend on on YouTube that's actually done that. She's a she's living in America right now, but she's like s Spanish or something. She's from Spain, I think, or something, and she's she's really pretty. But she self medicated for like two or three years, and then oh, she yeah. finally was able to go into a, a doctor, and she said that all of her uh, everything was fine, but she she. She like uh, was getting on like a website, and she watched so many other people's videos about their medication. Because you're not supposed, they say, I don't know if it's actually true. They say you're not supposed to get on like YouTube and tell other people um, your medication dose because you might actually cause somebody to kill themselves. You know, because they might get on something and then get brain damage or blood clots or something and die. You know, so people get on there and they just say, I'm on spiralactone. And I, you know, I take this twice a day, but they don't say they're like how much. But if you look at enough videos of people doing that, you'll find out the like what people are starting to take when they first start taking it, how they take it, when they take it and all that stuff. So if you watch enough videos, you can kind of get an idea of what's going on. And then if you self-medicate, you'll know how to start. But even though you're not doing blood tests and finding out where your testosterone is at or whatever, you can kind of go off of what they're doing. You know, uh -huh. so they'll like they'll start the testosterone blockers and they'll take that for like five or six weeks and then they'll start taking hormones and they'll start with like really little amounts and they'll kind of move their way up to like no more than four milligrams, you know, uh -huh. and they'll kind of just they'll kind of use that as self-medication. But the problem is, is you can still get into trouble with that. Yep, but yep. like I heard I heard some girl today, there was this really pretty uh, girl.
girl that got on there and she acted like she knew what she was talking about. And I think she's actually self-medicating because she said she's taking um, uh, four milligrams uh, twice a day. You know, that's, that's, that, that, that's going to fucking lead, lead to some, some kind of organ, organ failure. failure. Yeah, she said she's Same taking thing. she's taking spiralactone and she's taking uh, estradiol and she's taking estradiol um, two times a day or three times a day. And she said, I don't know. She said, like, some people tell me that that's wrong and I shouldn't do that and blah, blah, blah. But then she said, like, my, 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 uh, what's changed in my body has happened so quickly and it's so, it's so drastic. And I was like, yeah, you're taking fucking like eight milligrams of fucking estradiol. Of course, you're going to see some major changes, but you're also probably going to get dead from that yeah. because that will actually yeah. cause blood clots. You'll get fucking dead from doing that. And I, that's why I say lots of them, like, they think, like everybody, like when they take, you know, drugs and shit, they think, like, a little's good. If a little's good, a lot's better. So, you know, if, if two milligrams of fucking estradiol gives me breasts, well, then I want a size D, so I'm going to take six milligrams, you know. <laughs> so so that a lot of people think that way. And when you're talking about, when you're talking about hormone drugs, you're talking about, you know, you don't need much in your system to change things around. Oh, no, but no. if you put a lot in your system, you can kill yourself. And a lot of things, it'll start shutting down uh, your internal organs. You know, you'll start having problems with your heart. You'll have problems with your kidneys, you know, with your with everything, you know, your brain, everything. I actually, I actually kind of went against, against my doctor's, doctor's orders. orders. Um, um, I don't give a shit, shit for recording this one, so I'm actually going to talk, talk about it next month. month. <laughs> um, I was supposed to be <laughs> on a, a certain <laughs> dose of uh, spiral yeah, yeah, I didn't see, see what the dose, 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 dose was. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> told me that. <laughs> yeah. But, um, yeah, 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 I'm on a certain dose, and I actually cut it in half. Because yeah. it's, it's, it's making it's making me fucking really, really, really tired. Like, I'll pass out. But the thing uh -huh. is, it's, 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 it's basically like, like a, a fake, fake kind of narcolepsy. Because I, I can't sleep when I want to. It's whenever the fuck my body wants to. Like, yeah. <laughs> so then so I cut, cut back. back. But then, um, what well, the, the good thing is about this, I looked up um, to get my bottom surgery a couple of days ago because my boss was asking about it. He wants to know when that's going through so we can plan, you know, that shit in my work. Really supportive company. I love my Yeah. And so, uh, so, uh, so I was telling him, I was like, yeah, hey, blah, 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 blah. Um, I'm going to have to basically have my doctors write my letters so I can get it done in April, anywhere between April and August. But they, they, they say they require a year, but if, they, if you have extraneous uh, circumstances, then you can actually um, accelerate it a little bit. And the only condition I don't need is being full-time for a year. Because I've been full-time outside of work for a year. It's inside of work. I've only been... Uh, about, about half, half that, that time. time. But yeah. otherwise, otherwise it's, it's been, been really the full two years. years. Yeah. Well, that's something like I, I've been like when you watch the uh, Caitlyn Jenner uh, mm -hmm. interviews and stuff like that. And she was talking and she was saying to Carrie, Katie Kirk that she wasn't going to uh, uh, tell anybody when she got the bottom surgery and all that stuff. A lot. I I'm a I'm a psychologist and I kind of I can read between the lines. And when she said that right right after that she had left and got off for like two and a half months and mm -hmm. she had uh she had her facial feminization surgery that they said it took 10 hours mm -hmm. and and that uh uh she got worried afterwards and she went a little bit nuts and stuff like that well those are common problems that you have when you have bottom surgery and uh. and you have to have um you have to have uh, been on uh, transgender medication uh, hormones for over a year to get that surgery. And yeah, yeah. at that time when he did that, when he did that interview with her, he said he was on tr hormones for a year and a half. Ah, see, I've see, been on I've been Spiro, on Spiro for, the, the, uh, uh, for a while now. I, I, I took Spiro, Spiro for about a year just, just to see, see if, if I liked, liked lifestyle, lifestyle without testosterone. testosterone. Yeah. So I, want, I want to see what it like was like to be more fucking fatigued. I want to see what it was like to be had to have a lower, uh, a less, uh, lesser sex drive, and yeah. all that kind of shit. Yeah, because it, it basically everything without the tits. Although I got, I was a really advanced case, like I said earlier. I actually started growing tits just on spiral. <laughs> yeah. My dog didn't believe me until I whipped my shit up. She's like, "Holy fuck, you have tits!" Yeah. 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 
on that one anom anomaly, anomaly case, case, but um, yeah, yeah, so, so I, I te te so it's technically true, true but I haven't been full time, uh, in my, uh, in my lifestyle, but, uh, you know, yeah. it's, it's, it's like, like most, most of the time, time. I mean, well, I that's what, actually go into my office a lot. That, like, that's why I think, I think Caitlyn Jenner has already had the surgery. Oh, good for her. Uh, yeah, I mean, and she's, she's not going to tell that. anybody, but I think she's literally already she's already had the bottom surgery, and that's why it took ten hours, and that's why she didn't you didn't see her. I think all she really had was a facelift, and I think uh -huh. she had a boob job done at the same time. You know, see, so she had a boob job and she had a facelift, and then she had the bottom surgery, and then they said it was just a facial feminization surgery. Yeah, see, I'm I'm, I'm not having either one of those done. Fuck that. Yeah. I think she, more more than likely, all she did was have like a nose job or something like that, and mm -hmm. then have her her facelift, which made her face look different. And then she went and had like you know, and then she didn't want anybody to know, and she probably had them sign a bunch of stuff to where nobody would say because she didn't want anybody to know. And then okay. she went and she went and did all the uh, face surgery to kind of uh, throw people off. You know, because a facial feminization surgery doesn't take ten hours; it takes about four hours. You yeah, know? yeah. It's, so it's, it's, it's I know people, I know people have got it done. done. Yeah, and it, and the gender sex reassignment surgery takes about six to seven hours. So if you look at that plus a boob job, you know they can do a boob job and be doing like the facial surgery while they're yeah, doing they, the bottom surgery. You yeah, know, they get like, basically multiple doctors, doctors tonight. tonight. To, to, yeah, to, to, to yeah. They could have like three or four doctors there. They could have one doing the breast augmentation you know and then when he's done he could be doing the facial feminization surgery mm -hmm. and then while they're doing that the other guy's down at the bottom doing all his stuff getting everything done you know yeah, so yeah. i mean yeah they could do it really quickly and and then they they're like well i just got facial feminization surgery but i think she actually did and i think she actually got uh bottom surgery yeah, yeah. We're, trying, we're trying to put over on this whole thing, thing about uh, <laughs> talking talk about training, training. Man. <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> Yeah, I know. That, that tends to happen when I get, like, a couple trans people on there. They want to talk. It's hard. We don't have a lot of people to talk to, you know. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah I mean, we, we really, really don't, don't, especially, especially others who, don't, who actually, actually know uh, a lot of, lot of the, the other stuff. stuff. Yeah. Like, like, we were saying about uh, facial feminization surgery uh, real quick. Like, and one of the, I mean, regard, with regards to doing uh, fucking surgery on the black market as opposed to going to a doctor, the thing that I really fucking appreciate about my doctor is that he actually refuses to sign off on any of that shit. Because he's, he's like, he's like, like you don't like, need it. He's like, I will I fucking have, I will flip a shit, shit if you go get it done, done without, without me. I was like, I don't, I was like, because he, because he said that, I was like, oh, I can actually trust him to fucking have my, 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 my well-being in mind. That's fucking nice. Well, that's, that's the thing. I've seen a lot of girls on the internet that actually are like, I want to go get facial feminization surgery and I want to do all this stuff. And they get into this kind of like that nasty kind of like Californian bimbo kind of like too much fucking surgery facial look you know that they look like fucking like a baboon's ass they got yeah know? they got like, they got uh, like uh, permanent, permanent duck, duck face, face going on yeah it's like they, they start to look like really horrible and that's what these a lot of these girls are acting like they want to go for it's really horrible and some of them like you'll see them like like uh uh, uh julie vu uh you know princess jewels She's oh, one yes, of those yes, ones. Yes. She wants to go get facial feminization surgery, and she looks oh, like a yeah. fucking Asian supermodel. It's like, why the fuck yeah, do you yeah, need facial feminization fantastic. surgery? Jules, Jules, you're a dumb bitch if you're going to get that shit done. I will rag on you from, from now until the end of time. Call yeah. me bitch. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Well, like, the other one The other one was that, uh, uh, what's her name? Uh, uh, God, the other girl that lives in California? I, I, I wouldn't know. know. I think I, you was trying to say something, actually. Uh, I mean... I think, I think it was, it was like, like, I don't know, I don't know the, names, the names, but, but I, mean, I mean, did you ever did you watch a program called Spitting Spit Image, Image back in the 90s? Yes, yes. yes. And this oh, is no. a lot of these, a lot a lot of these, these people are looking like caricatures, like, yeah. <laughs> they're going on with a lot of these things. Uh, yeah. Can, this is Spitting Image, like, you know, like, yeah. Yeah. should bring that show back so bad. Can you imagine the Caitlyn Jenner fucking Spitting Image? Yeah. I'll fucking piss myself. Yeah. I mean, I, well, think, that, I think they try to bring it back, but it wasn't as yeah. popular as it was when it first went. God. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. that's the thing with a lot of them is they they end up doing like too much surgery. You know, it's like it's all right if you get surgery, and and that's the thing with me. If I ever get surgeries and stuff, I don't want to end up looking like a freak. 
you know mm-hmm. and that's what ends up happening a lot of them end up with the with the like michael jackson complex oh god you know where they yeah. turn they turn into like looking like a fucking freak you know like frankenstein or something and and, and, I, and I, believe, I believe i believe, I believe this, well, well i'm not, I'm too, not sure too sure that but i think that that's why, why a lot of people, people that don't, don't really, really know too know much too about it, it. Standing, standing from the from outside, outside see the extremes extreme. so, so it's like there is a a deep, deep conversation, conversation that needs to be had, had an, an open conversation, conversation that needs to be had. But when, when people see, see these extremes, extremes like, like it almost seems, seems like, like if they typecast everyone, everyone as transgender or going through some sort of like rebirth or transition, and they see them like they might have some sort of a mental disposition, because you see it's it's one thing to go through a transition and have you know the the face augmentation and whatever but then it gets to the extremes of i mean normal people have these sort of extremes where they look like michael jackson and plastic and spitting him spitting him into the whole thing it's It's terrible terrible. and that's why a lot of the times when i see like you know bruce jenner caitlin jenner whatever you might have you i think is this some sort of a weird way to like mind fuck people because, because there, there, there needs to be an honest, honest conversation, conversation had, had. And the, the more, more it seems, seems weird, weird and contrived and, and blown over this Hollywood esque sort of thing, it, it, it takes away from the seriousness of the, the, of, of, of the conversation. Shot Yeah. I think, I think, the, the whole plastic surgery, surgery thing, thing, I think, I think it's, it's been it's around been for a long, long time. time because, uh, but it's not, now, it's not been the same. It's not been like. Uh, uh, it's, not it's not been, been done, done the same, same as it was in the past. Like, fucking, uh, uh, was it Bitches, bitches in Rome? They used to love, love white, white makeup, makeup, apparently. And the, the, the fucking way, way they made white makeup, white makeup back then was fucking grinding up the lead and shoving it on your face. Oh, that makes <laughs> sense, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so basically give you... I'm not, I'm not sure it right on their fucking eyelid, you know? Just get some fucking lead poisoning right in your fucking eye. Yeah, have some of that. That's what it takes to look beautiful. You know, no, it's, it's, it's and even, even fucking, fucking um some, some primates, primates do that yeah, shit where they where fucking, they fucking uh, and, and other other, other animals, animals do it too, too. um where they they use they use colors or something like that and or out of even the ones that artificially um increase their sexual value by like building a nest out of certain uh materials to attract a mate or something like that it's kind of it's kind of that thing I think but it just in trannies it goes um it goes really deep because they have a lot of competition from genetic women. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. I think eventually it's going to be the other way around. Like yeah, norm, yeah. normal, normal. <laughs> they might, they might, they might like guys will start asking, "Are you transgender?" When, and there'll be anatomical like women that will start saying yes, because yes. if you if you aren't, if, yeah, because yeah, yeah. if if you aren't transgender, lots of guys won't even want to be with you because they won't want to be with a real female because real females are fucking horrible. Exactly. You know, like the two things that will be your downfall is if you're not a transgender and if you say you're a feminist. Those those two things will make it unlikely for you to ever be able to have sex with anyone. So you'll have to say I'm not a feminist and that I'm transgender, even if you're not, just so that you can actually have a boyfriend. We're going to have to start coming up with a reverse shit test then to make sure that we don't accidentally get with the secret feminists. Yeah, exactly. That's the thing with feminists. They can't keep it. They can't keep a secret. They're If you throw out enough stuff at them, they'll eventually just go off because they can't keep their mouth shut. That's the one thing with feminists. They can't keep their fucking mouth shut. You've seen that shit with that fucking little bitch from... Uh, uh, Tokyo that I did the other oh, day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I did oh, that. Yeah. I was yeah. fucking, fucking dying. dying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she got on there and went, and went off. And she, the funny thing is, she's she's actually. Um, I would think it was like two years ago. She was mm-hmm. two or three years ago. She had like like hundreds of sock puppet accounts on YouTube, and she was actually she actually has. I have some a bunch of friends, uh, Rachel and June, and Texan in Tokyo. And give me a break, man, and give me a flake, man, and all these all these uh, YouTubers from Japan. We call ourselves J vloggers, and mm-hmm. there was all these J vloggers that were her friends, and that she would get on and she would talk to, and and if you watch a lot of her older videos from like two or three years ago, she was actually talking to these people, and then all of a sudden she started like like uh, 
putting up like shitty messages on their pages and just if you read some of the stuff she put up there she was a fucking lunatic some of the shit she wrote people thought she was fucking psychotic and she is and then she was actually doing this to her own friends and well, they, 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 they yeah throw that pe they throw people, people on the bus for arbitrary, arbitrary reasons. reasons yeah and she did that and that's why nobody now there's nobody that likes her anymore she don't have you'll notice on her channel like over two years she's never even done any like collabs the only people that she do, does collabs with are her boyfriend and he's like some loser as well hanging out with this psychotic fucking can canadian bitch you know so she you know that's canadian? yeah she's she Thanks calls herself Ca canada jean her name's canada jean oh. three oh yeah. that, uh, okay yeah yeah, yeah. Uh. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm I'm fucking smasticate when it comes to yeah. shit like that. that. I, can I can program you some fucking like an like an awesome, like an awesome, awesome game, game system. system. Cannot, cannot fucking, fucking solve word problems with the shit. shit. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it sounds like women. Simple, simple, sound, simple, simple words, words can't, can't fucking figure, figure out. out. Yeah, yeah, she's she's a she's a total like bitch and like everything on of her on her channel. Most of her videos. They have like no substance and she's like she tries to make a lot of videos that are like uh other people's videos other on other channels and she like trolls other people's videos to try to get her page bigger and she's got over a hundred thousand subs but i'm i'm imagining that a lot of her subs she lost a lot of subs after her bullshit came out but a lot of her subs she got i think are are simp white knight manginas and the rest of them are guys that are waiting for her to self implode they're waiting oh, to yeah. see her get called out again so that they can laugh you know oh, yeah, yeah. and i think that's there's, what there's, a lot of it is you know because if you whole, watch her a, if you watch her videos there's, there's a right. lot of views but there's not a lot of likes you know on her on her Definitely. videos a lot of people just watch her videos they don't actually comment or do anything the ones that comment are, are like you know the simps that'll get on there and like you're so pretty and this was such a great video you know those kind of people that are just fucking like platitudes you know well this kind of goes back to the to the actual topic of uh, the show which was um kind of that schoolyard mentality of guys doing that to girls back when yeah back when i was young because i remember doing this shit when i was my, 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 my earliest experience with uh with um with girls that i remember like was it i mean i was uh there was this girl getting fucking bullied and, and i actually went to go help her out and the bitch fucking, like, like, I basically kicked kick crap, crap out of the guy who was bullying her, and she got upset because, because she liked him. And I'm like, well, what, what the fuck? fuck? Why, Why are you, you complaining, complaining about him beating him your ass, ass then, then, you dumb, dumb bitch? bitch? Yeah, he was hitting me just because he liked me. That's why. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah, yeah. You know, school yeah. schoolyard kids, you know, they like some girl, so they stick their hair in the ink, you know, do shit like that. <laughs> Man, that's just, that's the, just start the start of a fucking, fucking great, great mentality, mentality. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, 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 he hits me because he likes me. Yeah, that's that's the thing. Is like, I I, I think that's the other good reason why um, it's good. It's better to be with a trans person because tr girls, regular girls, learn a lot of their sadistic, uh, psychological shit test bull stuff, bullshit stuff in school. You know. And the, and, and the thing is, is, if you go through school as a as a boy, and then as you get out of school, you decide, fuck this, I'm going to go and uh, be a girl, you know, and then you you have to kind of learn everything. And a lot of that stuff, because you went through it, you already know that that shit's fucked up. Mm -hmm. You know, oh, so gonna... so you tend gonna... you tend to <laughs> not want to. Uh, do any of that and you didn't learn any of that as a little child so it's not like kind of like in your in your uh, vocabulary to act that way so you have something over the the uh, genetic females because you're not going to be a fucking asshole like them yeah, yeah. Well, well, um, well um, something, something simple, simple as simple makeup, makeup right, right? I, I, only I only did makeup, makeup in secret so i've never really got any practice, practice. And, yeah. and today i just can't be fucked with it i've got i've got, got this really busy, busy lifestyle, lifestyle and i'm a programmer i'm always got something going on 
and I just don't have the fucking time to slap some shit on my face and then later, like, get it all over my fucking clothes. Worry about having to get it off my fucking clothes. Worry about having to get it off my face. I just, like, fuck it. Right? I got no time for that shit. So I just go around without makeup and girls will fucking lose their shit. You can just see it in their face because I'm prettier than them without needing all this fucking slapper crap. Yeah. Fucking. It's just, it's just fucking, it's just fucking great, because I, I stare, stare at them back. back. Like, I, saw I saw it yesterday, yesterday when, when I was going out to, to, to buy some shit in the stores. These three teenage, teenage girls are crossing me, me. And, they just, and they just, they just give me the stink eye, and I just little smile on the shit, and I'm like, yeah, bitch, yeah, yeah, I'm pretty on the inside and the outside, ho, oh! Yeah, that's the problem with them. Most, most females, that's one thing that they really hate, is like, you're, as a transgender, you're more beautiful on the inside than they will ever be on the outside. Yep. yep. But, also but also on the outside, outside too. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah, because you can, I've met so many women in my time that were like models and like really, really gorgeous. And inside, they're just disgusting, horrible people. You know? And they're just, they, their shit don't stink and everybody needs to grovel at their feet. And they're just fucking horrible fucking people that you'd never even want to talk to in real life. Mm -hmm. And they think they they think because they're pretty, which is all they got, that that's all they need. And what they'll find out is what I love about those kind of people is eventually they're going to get old. And when they get <laughs> old, they're going to be alone. They're still going to be a bitch and they're going to be living off their laurels. You know, as as when I was younger, I was a model. Yeah, you were a model then, but now you're just some old crotchety bitch that nobody wants to even talk to. You know, Not so no one they, comes to visit me anymore. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, because you're a cunt. And you still act like you're a supermodel, and you're not. You know. See, I was, um, I, was um, I was actually, I was talking, actually talking to, to one, one, um, one of my, one of my friend's, friend's wives, wives at, uh, at, uh, at, at um, um, I was at my Christmas, Christmas party the other day, and. Uh, yeah, yeah I, I, there's I, one genetic lady, lady that is, is uh, married to a guy that I work with. She's really, really, really nice. nice. She, was she was actually telling me about um, uh, getting uh, uh, breast implants because she actually got them. Got them. And, and uh, hers were really good. good. But, uh, but uh, she, was she was telling, telling me, me to not get them done. She's like, like, she's like, she's like, if I, she's like, if I would have realized how bad it was, I would, I would have got done. And she's a beautiful woman. Oh my god, she's fucking gorgeous. She has like facial structure and everything. And, um, and um, she, 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 she's, she's been she giving me really good advice. advice. She's, 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 she's no bullshit. bullshit. She's, um, she's, actually, she's actually, from what I've been told, she's she's she, she used, used to be in the army or some shit like that. Like, like, before, before they had they the, uh, the cheating, cheating requirement, requirement for women just to get on the pussy parts. Yeah. So she's fucking legit. And I like her a lot for that. You know, I have respect for her actually serving in her country. So, uh... Yeah, she, yeah was, she was she was just, just telling, telling me about, me about how, she was she pointing out girls in the fucking room staring, staring at me and I'm like, I'm like, oh, what? I was like, I'm aware, I don't I don't, I don't look at I don't even fucking look at them there. We're not even on the same level. They're over there being a fucking a passive aggressive cunt and I'm sitting over here having a good fucking time with people I like. And they fucking hate it. And they can't get over it. They the, 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 the quickest thing it would be is to let it go and just and just have their own fucking life. They just can't. They just cannot. Well, that's the thing. I've always talked about those little cutthroat uh, things they say. They're such snarky little mm. bitches. And they'll come over. Women have this way of talking to each other, even if they're your best friend, where they say things that just make you make you like feel small. And they're really good at that. And like I say, they learn that shit in school. They learn mm. that how to cut each other down. And they don't realize. Like I did, I, I did those uh, comments on... Uh, on uh, Theron and that uh, girl's video. Yeah, yeah I, uh, I, actually, I actually, if you notice, if you notice in, the, uh, in, the in the comments, comments I, kind I, kind of I kind of just said, said my piece and fucked right off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like they, they don't realize they both have that mentality. They both have that kind of like, I'm better than everyone else. Everybody should, like, they don't have any knowledge about transgender issues. They don't even care that the that cisgender suicide rates are, are one 1.6% of the population, which is three over almost 400 million people in the United States. And we're talking about an estimated 700,000 uh, transgender people. And out of that 700,000 transgender people, there's 41% suicide, you know, uh -huh. attempts. So, I mean, the, the huge amount of people that are trying to kill themselves 
and and then you have these people that are already like phenomenally hot like uh theron just started uh transgender medication like two weeks ago and she yeah, already she's, looks she's like she's been on it for years yeah. Yeah, yeah and she thinks everybody can be like that you know they're like very fucking like they're above the curve you know nobody's gonna look like that very very few people have that natural beauty but mm -hmm. when they have it instead of being appreciative that they have that they get this this holier than thou attitude like they're just amazing and everybody should try to be like us and it's like no fuck you you know especially when you act like that and you act like your shit don't stink and like you're so important and self self-absorbed i don't i don't want to even be friends with people like that it's really awful you know sure, that's sure. why when i put those though I, I commented and stuff and i was like you know it's like mean girls you know and that girl was like i don't be i can't believe you you think i'm like a mean girl and it's like it's not it's not what you say it's not that you're being mean it's that you have that same fucking attitude you know yeah, that yeah. you're you're being mean and you're at you're saying things that are mean without even realizing it and when you take on the the uh persona of a transgender on on the internet you have to realize that you're now representing the cult the the narrative and that yep, yep. young children are going to come on the internet looking for somebody to look up to and looking for somebody to give them some validation in their life because their parents won't and their friends won't and they feel like committing suicide and they're going to find your site and they're going to watch your video and they're going to watch you downplay everything that they feel and they're going to want to kill themselves and I, that's basically what I told them. I see it every day because I'm a psychologist. And that's the kind of people that end up coming to my office. And I don't want those kids to find their video and think that they should just, even though they have uh, problems with their body and they want to kill themselves because of it, and they don't have a lot of money, and they don't have the money to do facial feminization surgery and to get their their voice box recorrected and to get like thousands upon thousands of dollars worth of laser uh hair removal and all this shit and all that stuff could be solved if they just didn't go through male puberty you know and and for these girls these two girls that look very sexy and are on hormones and and look this way naturally and and have like way more money than everyone else and are able to get all the surgeries and shit like that and then they say like nobody should be able to do it because of us you know because of reasons i think that's very uh very unrealistic and it and it really uh can damage a lot of kids that find your video that's why if i get people in my comment sections that start saying some really shitty stuff about transgender stuff i i delete them and I'll actually block them as well because I don't want kids to come to my page and find these horrible comments in the comment section and have some of them start feeling bad or even want to commit suicide because they watched one of my videos and looked in the comment section. I was actually, I'm, actually, oh, fuck, I'm, I'm looking, looking it up. There's, there's, a, um, there's, an, there's an app, app for, for phones, phones now. now. I, book, I thought I bookmarked it. I may not have done. But, um, there is there a, is a uh, there's an, an app, app that, that uh, actually, actually helps tra uh, people, people who are transitioning, transitioning or just want to do voice, voice training, training do it, do it over the, the, with, with an, an app that fucking detects the, the, the levels you need to still, still adjust, adjust to. to. So oh, I'm looking cool. at that right, right now. now. I believe it was called Evil Evil, Evil, Evil or something like that. that. And, and I can't, can't fucking find, find it, but I was going to post the link here when I do. I may end up having to fucking spend time going through my bookmarks and finding it because I've got literally thousands. It's, it's, I'm, 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 I've been trying to do this on my vacation, and I've just, it's just gone to shit. I've just, just, I've been so busy just trying to clean up goddamn everything. It's like, I spent fucking half a day cleaning up my goddamn, ba my goddamn bathroom shit just so my, all my girl stuff looks uh, fine when I look in there. I, look, I, I would go, I would go in there and try to be like, all right, I'm gonna go do my hair today. It's like, no! It's like. It's like, it's like, you know, you know when you, um, um the, 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 was it the, the meme of, um, I don't know if you've seen it, it's a picture of, a of, a, of a, 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 a bathroom with, with all this fucking makeup and fucking yeah. all this other shit. I have it on one of my videos, actually. It's, it's the, uh, the yeah, yeah. picture on one of my videos. 
And yeah. the, the caption says, you left the toilet seat up and the entire bathroom yeah. is covered in, in cosmetics. Yeah, it was, exactly. It was, it was you can't like even see the sink. Closet. Yeah. And I, I was like, nope, no, fuck this. I, when I look at my bathroom, I want to go find shit and feel fucking, you know, at rest. So I actually took everything out, chucked a whole bunch of shit out, and I just rearranged yeah. it all. Like, all right, all right. boom, well, done. A lot of a lot of girls start to realize this, but a lot of people, a lot of guys that just you know start to do makeup don't realize that like if you use makeup, it you you tend to get like uh, bacteria and things off of your face, and mm -hmm. so if you use something and then you like don't use it for like two or three months, there's a lot of bacteria on it, and if you put that stuff on your face, you might end up getting breakouts and you know having mm -hmm. lots of problems with your face. So. If you're going to have like, you know, 15 different kinds of makeup sitting on the cabinet that you've only used once or twice, you're going to have to throw that shit out unless you're going to fuck up your face. You know? Yeah, yeah. See, I, I, just, I just I just don't wear like makeup, makeup anymore. anymore. I, I, yeah. do I do on rare, rare occasions, occasions. Like, I only do my, do my eyes and lips. lips. That's it. it. It's yeah. cause, cause, and it's and mainly, it's mainly the time, time concern. concern. I just I don't have time to give a shit. I've got I've got code I need to write. I don't need to be fucking sitting here. Um sorry doing a doing Christmas, Christmas package. package. I actually spent, spent this whole time, time lacing up a, a couple of courses. courses. <laughs> <laughs> I'm set, one of my female, female friends just had her baby, and he was like, oh, I'm going to send you a course so, so you have something, something to look forward to when you finally heal up. Because I bought some to do my waist training, and they were too large. It's really hard to find corsets in my size. So I just it's just basically try on error, so I usually give them away when they don't fit. I'm I'm good like that. Um, yeah, I'm hoping here pretty quickly. I just turned in all my paperwork this week, actually, for my uh, for my uh, refugee status. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, how did that go, actually? Because I know that. Yeah, I have. I, know that. I, the the thing is, is they're trying. They're very strict here uh, for for uh, people coming in, and actually, thousands mm -hmm. of people apply for for coming in. But there's only like I think last year there was only like four or five people that they let in as a refugee, so they're really really strict. But they're thinking about changing it because of the transgender issues and gay issues in other countries and stuff like that. They're wanting uh -huh. to to uh, change it so that people can come here. But they're also having the thing is is what what's really cool is you can actually come into this country and be a nurse. They're needing a lot of people to take care of elderly people in this country. And since I have a master's in, in psychology, that's something that they want. And they want a lot of people, they have a lot of uh, problems here in Japan with uh, autistic children. So they have a lot of problems with stuff like that. And they don't have doctors here to take care of them. So they want people to, to uh, help with stuff like that. So they're wanting to bring in more and more people into Japan that can do that stuff. They're actually they're actually looking for people in Syria and these other countries and they're actually bringing them to Japan if they're like nurses and doctors so they're trying to bring people in to, for these cases uh, to take care of these elderly people and that's why I, I'm gonna actually be one of the first cases of a transgender person that was able to be refugee here and I gave them tons and tons of information that I had to translate into Japanese to show them why um, it's such a dangerous place to live in in America if you're transgender that you have a very real chance of being beaten on a daily basis and you have a very real chance of dying. Mm -hmm. you know? Oh yeah, I, 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 don't, I don't like, like being, being um, uh, uh, full time for that reason. reason. I, I, yeah, I still I kind of just like put it in the back of my mind. mind. But it's it's something, something I think I about constantly. I don't like... Uh, Walking out by, by myself, myself at all. Because one, one, one of the first uh, things, one of the first things that happened when I went out and uh, started being full time is um, uh, uh, these two dudes. dudes. It was it was in a public area too. These two dudes, dudes actually fucking threatened to rape me. me. And, uh, and uh, because, because I was, I, because I wouldn't give them the time, time of day, day, I was, and, and fucking, why would I if they're going to be rapists, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> I was, I was, I was, but, uh, but I was on the phone talking, talking to my friend, I was actually walking, walking towards, towards my friend at the time, time and these two dudes started hollering at me, and I'm like, and I'm, like I'm, I'm on the phone, phone you know, whatever. whatever. I'm not going to fucking talk to these guys, and they're like, oh yeah, bitch, come over here, I'm like, oh shit, you know? This is like within feet of my friend, like a lot of people there, like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah. Right. I don't know yeah. if they knew I was trained, but I, it really made me fucking, uh, kind of put me, uh, put it in, in my head that I'm more vulnerable now. So I went out, when I got back that day, I was really bothered about, like, you know, I'm going to fucking learn about how to use pepper spray, and I fucking 
uh, uh, went and, went did, and did that, that shit, shit and looked about, about what, what I can uh, legally, legally carry to protect myself, myself and uh, uh, whatnot. Just fucking, uh, really, yeah, yeah, really good. good. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta get one of those big giant purses and shit and carry like fucking nunchucks and fucking all kinds of shit in there. Yeah, yeah. I have a shame. In, 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 in my little cute, cute uh, Asian, Asian purse, purse um, it's, it's, it's so adorable. adorable. It's got little bears in it. It's made from crocodile skin. It's not fucking cheap shit. It's awesome. In that shit, it's. Uh, I got uh, a got fucking, fucking chain whip, whip a, fucking a fucking push, push knife, knife, pepper, pepper spray, spray, fucking, fucking knuckles. knuckles. Yeah. <laughs> like, dude, dude, if, if, if I, I hit someone, someone with it, it's going to knock, knock it down, down on that one. one. Give yeah. me enough yeah. time to whip, whip, whip out like a chain and choke those motherfuckers. Yeah. And then I've been thinking about carrying... Because the pepper, the pepper spray, spray has dye in it, it. so, so if, if I can tag yeah. someone, even if I don't get them in, get them in the face, face, I can tag, I can tag someone, someone with it. it. Yeah. It's, 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 you need, like, uh, it's, it's like, like, it stays, stays on for fucking, fucking days. days. Yeah. So, so like, yeah, looking, looking for a dude with fucking, fucking with blue, blue in his fucking eyeballs, okay? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Let's look at all the hospitals, it's the only place you can really get that shit. Unless you are a special force and shit, like, you have the stuff to take it off. Yeah. Um... But, I, but yeah, yeah it's, 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 I, feel I feel so bad, so bad for the guy who fucking would do that, because what, what I would do is I'd zip tie that motherfucker up. <laughs> yeah. I'd be like, alright, now you're fucked, fucked mate, because now, now I'm zip tied your legs together. Yeah. And now you're going to get a kick. Yeah, like, who's who's going to rape who now? Yeah, I'll just whip it out and be like, oh yeah, alright, your turn! Yeah, now it's my turn to rape you, bitch. But I still find it quite bizarre, bizarre that 2015, 2015 that, that that sort of stuff, stuff still happens. happens. So I must I be some sort of some hermit, hermit but I just, just you, know, you know, I mean, yeah, man, well, that's the same thing they have happening here. Is they, I, I went in and I talked to them and I had an interview, and they were like, they still have this rosy picture that they think America is so great. So I gave them like a whole thing translated into Japanese about the American population of uh, people in prison, which is the highest mm -hmm. uh, in the world even over Korea and China and all these countries that are supposed to be so horrible. America is like five times higher in incarceration rates. And they, they, uh, they'll they have all the information they can about police shootings and deaths and all the stuff that's going on. And, and uh, they'll start to realize maybe that America is a horrible fucking place to live. And I don't, I w I don't ever want to go back there again. I lived there for over 20 years of my life i've lived here for 11 years but i i've lived here like a total of 17 years and i i don't want to ever go back to the u.s like if i couldn't stay in japan i would i would uh, go to like australia or new zealand or thailand <coughs> Or someplace, oh, yeah, but I mean, I'll never less, go back to the U.S. It's less, less dangerous, dangerous than fucking fuck Australia. Australia. Literally, literally, literally everything, everything will want to kill you. Kill you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, that's the thing. Actually, yes. You know, there's I I don't know about being transgender in that country, but I have I'm a vegan, and it's a good country to be in. Like if you if you I have some friends uh, like uh, Durian Rider and Freely, the the vegan people from uh, Adelaide. And they they live in Adelaide and the Gold Coast and Sydney and stuff like that. They go, kind of travel around. They ride bikes all the time and stuff like that. So I I that's kind of me. It's what I do as well. So I would kind of like to go there. And I I work with cars and I do like you know that kind of stuff. So I could eat very easily move there and have a decent life. You know doing cars and vehicles and and uh, teaching and you know all that kind of stuff. So if I can't if I can't stay here, I'll, I'd go there. You know. That's one of the things I like about my job. I can really work anywhere because it's like I, I can I can work and live in two different, different countries because I don't, I don't have, have to physically be at my job, my job um, very uh, very, uh, very often. often. And yeah. there are times you have, have to be there, there if, uh, or whatnot, but, but it makes it so much fucking easier. Easy. Yeah, I watched some girl's video from uh, America, and she said that she makes money uh, doing surveys online. Mm -hmm. And I got on the site and I and it asked me like where I was at, and I put Japan. And it flipped everything into Japanese, and I I can understand a lot of Japanese, and I read I read and write a lot of it, but it's showing like kanji and all kinds of shit like that, and it's like I don't know a lot of that stuff, so I can't mm -hmm. I can't understand it, and I can't figure out how to switch it back into Jap into English, you uh -huh. know, so I can take the things because they don't they pay you like a couple of cents or something per, you know, thing, but I'm home all the time, and I could take like you know a hundred of them a day, you know, to where mm -hmm. I could be making like you know hundreds of dollars a day maybe 
taken these yeah, surveys yeah. you know so i i would i would uh i would do that and they keep sending me surveys every day to take but they're all in japanese and i can't take them you know mm-hmm. so it's it's really fucking annoying yeah, yeah. I'm, the, the other the thing, thing I'm really glad about in my, my job, job is, is that, that um, it pays, pays enough, enough to actually do a transition. Do a transition. Like, like, like when, when I was when 19, 19 uh, part, part of the reason I was in the transition because, because I just got, I just got out of school. school. I, really I really didn't have, have any, any um, um, uh, uh, job skills, skills, you know. I just got my I just got my AS level AS levels done. I failed the shit out of them, even though I was teaching that fucking class the next year. So the, so the, the, the one retarded, retarded kid, kid, yeah, yeah I, get, I, get, I, get I get to fucking, fucking stand, stand up there and show everyone else how retarded I'm not. not. It's fucking great. <laughs> yeah. um, but uh, I, I ended up dropping out because I had to go to work, work, and I didn't. Have, I had to. I ended up getting a high paying job, job for uh, for my um my lack of ability, but it wasn't enough. I was like, you know, I can't fucking have a life like this shit. So I was like, I kind of postponed transition because of the fact that I wasn't employable. And yeah. it, took it took a long, a long ass time, time to work towards, towards, towards where I'm actually employable to the point where I can reconsider, reconsider it seriously. It's fucking, it's fucking really, really, really good that, that I uh, chose a, a lucrative field, field, but she, 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 she choosing my field wasn't was an accidental. I chose it because it's something I, I basically have a job. I do have a job skill, I just don't have any formal training in it. And so I was like, fuck this, I want my piece of paper that says I'm awesome. Yeah. So, so you're actually, actually programming, programming on, on because I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm just I'm just, I'm, I'm just, just venturing, venturing into learning R because I want to go into the like the statistical stuff and the few sort of business, business ideas I have. have but yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm plus, plus you're able to sort of like do your own sort of thing. And it's not I don't know how your job is, but I believe it's not sort of overly run by feminists or feminazis and. They're sort, sort of like, like you know, you know hammering the hell out of you and all of this sort of rubbish, rubbish because, because um, I, I, I believe that's the next sort of level, level you know, because, because you know, you a, lot know of, a lot of a lot of people have now got to see the road ahead and the road is not rosy when, when it's, it's overly run, run by, you know, human resources, HR, and women and sort of dictating and it's like, what, what I'm, I'm saying, saying is you've just got to get further, 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 further away, away to where, to where the, the money's money at. And it and just seems to be like software engineering or like programming. And then that's, that's it, really. It, no, I don't believe anyway. anyway. So it's like, like yeah. more power, power to you, to you that you've been able to do that. Well done. Well done. Yeah, yeah, I did a video of that like two weeks ago, I think, on oh, on the uh, on the women in HR. And the, the, the that sci- psychological area is the fastest growing in psychology. There's a lot of people... Uh, a lot of the feminist women that are trying to get women to go into that field because it makes a lot of money, and it it will actually aut- artificially in, inflate the uh, amount of women that are getting into STEM fields and stuff like that, because th- what these girls do is they will actually uh, go in there, and they'll they'll they get asked to go into jobs into these HR departments, and do t- tests and kind of check what's going on in the areas find out w- how they can make uh, certain people more efficient how they can make people's lives better in the job so that they'll work harder and work longer and won't complain as much and have a better uh, feel like they have a better way of life when really they don't which is perfect mm-hmm. for women that's kind of their life you know making making a guy feel like he's got something that he don't you know so that's kind of what they're what they're that is designed to do and those almost every hr department is under that and anywhere in the world most hr departments have fallen under that spell of feminists and feminazis and these people in that psychological psychological field and even if it's a man doing that field he learned it from a woman and the the uh the way they do it is the way the feminists want them to and mm-hmm. so that's they're kind of like they're they're insidiously getting into everything by doing that and it's turning it's turning work environments for men into just like slave dens yeah yeah Cause, cause, oh, that's, that's why i look at it is, is that, that sort, sort of paradigm, paradigm can't, can't last anymore because, because like, like the, the way i look, look at it, it is, is that, that even when i used to like, like work, work, work i went to a couple of years or whatnot you know, you know, when, when I, I did, did work, work in like, like prison over in the UK, like, like in London, London, I saw the, the you know, you know yeah. one, one incident, incident I was just like in the, the um, briefing, briefing room. room. 
on a particular wing, wing, wing and I had to I sort of like put my jacket, jacket over the hanger, hand, but like, like people, people sat, sat around and so chair in front of this, this hook. hook. So, so like I, I stood, stood in front of a guy, guy and I didn't want to stand in front of a woman, woman. And, like stretch over the hook it. So the guy goes like, you know, get your you know, you know effing, effing like crutch out of my face, face is me, right? Steady, steady on. on. So I'm not, no, no, this other woman said, said to me, me. Oh, oh, you know, you mister, know, mister, you can put your crutch, crutch in my face, face any day. Any day. Yeah, and I stood there, and I looked around, and I said, it must be about 14 people in the room, 15 people. And I said to myself, if I looked around to see if anyone heard it, they did, she said it quite loudly, and I thought, if this was me, well, well, if this, if this was, was any other, other guy, guy or, or if this, this was, was the other, other way around, around someone, someone would be getting fired. fired. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Sure, sure. Yeah, yep. it never everything that they want to do. That's why they always talk about equality. But, but I always talk. I always say that the equal equality is gender privilege masquerading uh -huh. Big time. as Big time. equality, because they just they everything that they talk about. They just want to like subjugate men. They want they want to be able to tell men. What they can do, what they can say, where they can go, how they can do it, when they can do it, why they can do it. They don't want men to have any say in their lives or in anything they do in life, and they want to have the privilege over them. And they they think that that's what men have now, and that's why they don't want equality. They no, want no, no. what they think men have, because they have this ro this idea that men go around subjugating women and that they tell them what to do and everything they do in their life has to do with subjugating women so they want that life for themselves they but that life doesn't exist for men it doesn't, it doesn't. you know men don't have that privilege that they think we have but they really think we do so they think if they want to get to that level but they don't realize by getting to that level First of all, they're already past the the level of being equal, equal, and they've already went to the other side. They're actually putting they're putting us where they think they were. You know, and, that's what they and, and that's what they're they, they, they they're actually putting men in the category of where they think uh, women are or were, and women were never there. That's the exactly. problem. Exactly. They've never been there. Women have always been the top of the society. They always have, no matter what. They've always been the top of the society. You know, we got somebody new that just came in. Hey, man. What's up? Hello, hello. <laughs> I like your avatar. It's cute. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> yep, armchair. <laughs> yeah. So. Basically, the way where I was going at with with the topic was uh, um, what we got what we got going on is is in most schools in America they're trying to uh, they they've changed the curriculum and the de the design of the curriculum in the last twenty years to it's it's more uh, geared towards men or to women I mean. And the way they teach, the way boys learn and the way women learn are completely different. And the teachers, because they're all females, have less have have moved away from the ability to teach boys. And and because they learn in college from a female how to teach, and they they teach them in a way where the way that they're going to teach is is to a woman's style. And a woman's characteristics, which means most of them don't have any clue how to how to teach men or boys. And because of that, when they get into a school and they have like a class where half of the students are boys and half the students are girls, they run into these kids that don't want to listen, don't want to sit down. Uh, they they run around and play, and they 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 don't understand that dynamic because they weren't taught that in school, in college. So they think that something's wrong, and they obviously have ADD, and we got to put them on medication, you know. And that's basically where this whole thing has started to come from in the last 20 years. These kids that are on ADD medication, and it's it's 90 percent of them are boys, you know. Very few girls are on ADD medication. It's always boys, and the only reason boys are on ADD medication is because women teachers have told the parents that your kid has ADHD. 
I was going to say, this might also, also, affect also affect other Western, Western countries. countries. Cause when I lived in England, right, right. one of the one things, things that when, um, um, they, uh, they, uh, they used they to have me do, it was fucking torture as well, is I used to have to do drills for my handwriting. And it was and always, always like, your handwriting is not neat, neat, neat enough. And my, my argument, argument counter argument, and, and, and I fucking am totally, totally right, right, by the way, way all you fucking, fucking retard, retard teachers, teachers that I had. I had. Uh, was, um, was um, that, um, that I'm going, I, I, use, I, can I can use keyboards. keyboards. I've known how to use a fucking, fucking keyboard, keyboard since, since before I could fucking remember. remember. Always yeah. had access to the computer. computer. I was like, I, I want, like, want, want a job in fucking, fucking keyboards. keyboards. I'm not, I'm gonna, not gonna be writing, writing shit down, down. and when, when I, do, I do, it's going to be scratch. Like, I was really young when I was saying this shit. I was only like, fucking, maybe eight years old. And I was telling them exactly what I'm doing now. You know, I just... I, I, yeah, just I just want to fucking, fucking quickly, quickly write shit, shit down. down. I don't, I don't want to have to fucking do this. this. So, so they put they me through all this bullshit, bullshit for years. years. Like, like um, like uh, like, like I, I hold, hold a pen, a pen really, really weird. weird apparently, apparently. I'm, I'm like, no, it's, it's just, just me picking, picking up a fucking pen and writing. writing. So I had yeah. to actually wear this device on my fucking fingers to make me hold a pen the way fucking other people do. Other people do, and I'm like, I've I've seen, I've so I've seen um, fucking this kind of shit happening firsthand. It's like, yeah. I, 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 realized I realized what they, what they what actually meant, it wasn't, it wasn't, oh, your, oh, your handwriting, handwriting sucks compared to everyone. everyone. It, was, it was, look at look the, the girl's, girl's handwriting, they're so neat, so lovely. I'm like, yeah, but they spent they fucking eight, eight minutes, minutes writing, writing a fucking, fucking single, single sentence. sentence. I was like, exactly. I just want to get, get the shit, shit done. done, I want, you know? Yeah. yeah, they don't realize, like, the way boys are, that, that they're, they're not, they don't think about school in the same way. And they learn in a completely different way, which is why it's, it's, if you teach a boy in the right way, they learn, they pick up things a lot quicker than women. Mm -hmm. And women women want to like know so much stuff about things and and read books and read all kinds of stuff. And in the end, they really still don't know much about it. You know, mainly because they don't do it. You know, women want to exactly. read about things but not actually do them. Boys mm -hmm. want to do them, and they don't want to know much about it. They just want to know the basics. You know. How do, how do I do this? And you tell them this is what you need to do to do that. And then they go out and they do it. And they, and they learn once they start doing it. They're like, well, that didn't work. I need to change something. And they kind of figure it out by themselves. Women don't do that. That's not how women learn. So when you teach boys the way women learn, they don't learn anything. Boys, boys can't learn that way. You know, so if you sit a boy down and you, tell, you give him some book and you say, this has everything in this book that you need to know about how to do something and they'll read it and when they're done most boys will be like i don't know what to do i don't understand you know but if you tell them like a couple of things and then you give them something and then you say this is what w the book was about they'll figure out everything that they were reading by themselves and women don't understand that that they want to i always say in my teaching i always put this on my page that my job as a teacher is not to teach you what to think it's to teach you how to think and that's the problem with most female teachers they want to teach you what to think they want to tell you like you have to be a feminist and you have to be a, a white knight and you have to do all this stuff and you have to think like a woman because that's the best way to be in life because i'm a woman so obviously you have to think like me you know and they don't want anybody to have their own mind and especially if they're a boy you have to think like a woman because women are are the superior race under their idea you know race. yeah they're the master race you know zig heil you know feminism you know so yeah that's how they that's how they really are and they don't get they're actually fucking up men's lives and they're actually you know like like i was i always talk about here in japan they're actually causing the death of japan here because a lot of men have actually decided to stop going into college and a lot of men here are not being like uh uh you know any, they're not getting jobs that they had to go to college for they're working in like record stores or they're working at like 7-eleven and they're getting these jobs that they make barely enough money to survive because they don't have a wife and they don't want a wife and they don't need any of that shit so all they want to do is to be able to go out and maybe drink something and have some fun with some friends and go back home and eat some ramen and they don't really need a lot of money to survive and so a lot of them have basically just canceled out of out of society and they've just basically stopped uh being part of the rat race and because of that there's so many of them doing that the society and the gdp here and the economy is just tanking and that's why we're getting these people that don't want to ever get married they don't want to have kids they don't want a job that's going to be like something that's going to take up a 
major amounts of their life. They have, in some cases, part-time jobs, and they work at, at a job where they get, you know, 9 or $10 an hour. And that's all they need because they only have to pay rent, they have to pay their cell phone bill, and they have to buy some food. And other than that, you know, everything else is covered. You know, they might have to go on train rides and bus rides and stuff like that, but that's all pretty cheap here in Japan. So you could get by on $1,000 a month, you know, and that's what a lot of them are doing. They're getting by on like $1,500 a month, which is nothing here in Japan, you know, and a lot of them can do that. I myself only spend about $200 a month on food. I like, I like, I like, I like what, you what you said, said there, there and how you put, put it. Sorry to interject there, there because, because you know, you know when, when I used to listen to your videos, videos, I liked, I liked your, your approach, approach to it, and, and you know, you know the, the analogy, analogy you've just, just made, made to teaching, teaching boys, boys. And, and I can, can see, see, you know, you know I've, I've been, been seeing it for a number of years over here, and like to the point where now a lot of my male friends, I don't really talk to them a lot because you know that they are being sort of like ushered in, or they're being sort of I don't, I don't know, know like, like being, being controlled, controlled by some sort of, sort of feminine ideology. ideology. And, and what, what you're, you're saying about Japan is what I'm actually, actually seeing here. And I've seen, seen it for a very long time. time. So, so I've started, started to like start, start my business around sort of like doing this why I call it ego blossom and do these sort of YouTube channels. It's a terrible sort of thing. And also a fashion channel to sort of like show them how they can sort of get their groove back. So, so having, having a sort, sort of like an like environment, environment where men, men can come, come around, around like this, this not, not really spend, spend like, like, you know, 50, 50 hours, hours like dating over some, some pointless idea, idea but sort of like get the basics, basics as you said, then convene in a physical, physical location, location where, where actual, actual like, you know, you hand to source sort, sort of stuff can be done on the computing or to generate a lot, a lot of, of money, money because, because I can, I can see, see that in the next, next even less, even less even in the next, next five years, years they're going to have, have a massive, massive problem over here in the UK and, and I suppose in America as well because, because I can, can see the trajectory of what you're saying in Japan. Japan. I can, I can see, see that, that over here, here a lot of guys, guys young guys, guys, they have no direction. They can't, they can't really focus on the sort of things that their father's generation or the generation before that did. They basically have no place in society but to be sort of like on the coattails of some woman that has, that has no, no idea, idea about, about anything, anything. And, it's, and it's i can, I can see, see the future, future being pretty, pretty grim pretty, pretty grim for a lot of guys, guys. and if and they, they think, think that by being a woman, woman you know, you know she's she i don't know, know. Uh, uh, some, some sort of like a, 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 a yoga, yoga pilates, pilates instructor, instructor is going to do anything they're going to find that they're going to be basically stay at home husbands but not in a positive light because i've been finding a lot of females that i know they're actually, they're actually cheating, cheating on their, their husbands, husbands and their, their boyfriends. boyfriends. I mean, I mean and, it's and it's just, just like, like you're thinking, you're thinking to yourself, wait a minute, minute. This, this is not actually a positive, positive thing. thing. And when, when you, you, you have a group of women that discuss these things, things you, actually you actually see, see that the other, other women are not basically, basically saying, what you've done there is actually bad, it's actually violent. You know, and you think to yourself, a lot of these women, they don't have responsibility. They don't want to have responsibility. They don't give a damn about it. And as you said earlier on, they're using, using this, this sort, sort of like phantom, phantom power, power that they think men have, have and they're and completely, completely obliterating any shred of decency, decency in society. society. And, and I, I think, think that the, the movement, movement of transgender, transgender and everything, everything being open, open now, now, I think, I think this, this could be a be massive, massive plight to them. And I'm and looking, looking forward, forward to it because, because men, men right now, it's a dire stage with guys younger than 30, you know, early. 20s, 20s. It's pretty, pretty bad, bad here. Here. so, so uh, I, like I like the stuff, stuff that you're saying, saying and I think, I think that, that a lot of people, people listening, listening need to really to take stock, stock of what's, what's going, going on, on right in front, front of them and, and be a positive, positive change, change and actually and have, have more of these, these conversations. conversations. Well, I'm always talking about in the in the industry that I'm in is is teaching. And when you go into colleges now, you typically find women it's been this way for years and years. Women go into softball courses. Women are not in college to get a career. That's not what women go to college for. Women go to college to find husbands. And they go to college to find husbands that are going to be in a field that's going to make them money. Now, I've talked about it before where 25 to 28 percent of the graduating class in any given year in colleges are women. And 
and or actually, I mean, are actually uh, graduating. Of 100% of the people that go into college, only about 25 to 28% actually graduate. The rest drop out. And out of that 25%, 68% are women. And what they're going to start finding because of the way they're running colleges is less and less boys are going to be going into college, first of all, because they would, just won't care. And they don't want to be taught by a woman, and they don't want to not be able to learn things and still have to pay for it and get debt. So once, they, once this happens, what's going to happen is they're going to have less and less chance to find a boy, which means less women are going to want to go into college too because they're not going to be able to look for a boy. And the problem that they have now and that they've been having for years is these 25 to 28% of uh, women and men that are in colleges, a lot of these women go to college for four years and get some softball career because they're kind of keeping track of the men that are in the college to find the guy that actually is going to make it through college and graduate and get a diploma so that he can have a nice job. And that's the guy they want to tag off of and use him as an ATM machine. So that's why a lot of women go to college. They don't go to college ever to actually have a real career. Very rarely do women go into college and get something that they're really going to use. I mean, they'll be like nurses or something like that. But typically, they'll end up getting married to some guy, and then they'll end up uh, getting a kid and quitting, quitting work and, and not going back to work until he divorces her. You know, and that's just a typical thing that ends up happening. Very, very rarely do you find these women that actually uh, stay, like, go to college to actually have a real life for themselves and, and make a life for themselves and not tag off to some guy and use him as an ATM. Yeah. Yeah, 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 well, yeah, chicks, like, just go, go into college, college, college and get gender studies, studies degree, degree or yeah. some yeah. other fast and then what about that? Yeah, well, and, and then then typically, yeah. yeah, typically what, what, what we have in, in most colleges in the world, especially in the U.S., is most women go into college and they get gender studies, arts degrees, psychology degrees, um, uh, poli gender, sci. yeah, poli sci you know, stuff like that, and and they're never really uh, very, very few, I mean, they'll go into, like, nursing, you know, stuff like that, but very few go into, like, lawyer, uh, doctor, you know, something that's going to make them, like, $100,000 a year where they can actually not even have to have a boyfriend or a husband. They can actually support themselves. Very, very few women do that because that's not what they're there for. They're there to kind of, like, like watch and they want to see some guy that's handsome enough that looks like he's in a really good career that has a lot of ambition and drive and they just want to sit at home and, and watch him work for her so that she can buy her purses and Louis Vuitton bags and her new her new uh, house and get all the things that she wants in her life while he works his ass off for them you know and that's basically what they want Uh, go, oh, ahead. go ahead. Sorry. Man, the, the thing about women now, they don't even provide the, um, the, the sex and the companionship and the cleaning up now. They just want, don't want to do nothing. Yeah, that's the way most of them are. They've, they've got to the point where they've tried to shame men for so many years, and they started out shaming them, saying, like, like I'm having to work in the house and take care of the kids and blah, blah, blah. So in the 70s, they were able to go out and start working even though they were with their husband. But the thing is, is they would do jobs that didn't actually bring any home, any money home. You know, so they would do stuff like they, their husband would be out doing something where he was making thirty or $20,000 a year, which was quite a bit of money back in the 70s. And their, his wife would be like a, a cashier at the grocery store, you know, or something where she was making like $8 an hour and bringing home like, you know, $10,000 a year. So she's bringing home like like one third of what her husband was, and then but she no, was. You know, just to get by. You know, not yeah. your whole entire career. Yeah, exactly. You know, most most of the stuff they do, they just they want so much. Uh, like, they want people to to consider them equal, <clears throat> so much, even though they're not. You know, the, the yeah. women, can, you can women, tell, man, you can tell all, you know, no, you, I, I, when I was registered for school, school at a shitty little community college, college here, here, 
um, in North, North Florida, Florida, it was a uh, this move here. here. Um, I'm going, going to the military, military too, because I know it's bullshit, bullshit but it's like, hey, you don't have a good job. But it's like, like you, you see them in hot pants, pants and shit, shit. like their, their ass, ass is showing, showing like the hot, hot, hot pants that Ariana Grande, Grande wears, 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 and their ass is jingling out. out. It's like you just didn't tell they're just looking for a guy. And then all these posters are on the school walls about like, it's not sex if he's drunk or whatever. It's like, why are they always trying to just shame men? And it's, it's always, always like, like gay, gay men, the targeting for gay men, men and, and straight, straight men, men. Like, like, you know, you know like, like all, the, you know, every straight, every straight man or the masking gay, gay man is just going to take advantage of the other, other person. person. Yeah. 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 That's uh, what they want. They want to make themselves feel like victims. That's the whole mental. I don't, it doesn't make any sense from a psychological standpoint that women can actually say that they're empowered and they're strong, uh, brave, you know, women and all this stuff. And then in the next breath, they can talk about how they're subjugated by men and they're victims. And all everything right, exactly. that's happened in my life that's bad for me, that's that's wrong, is because men have subjugated me. And I don't understand this dichotomy that they have where they can they can say in one breath that I'm a strong, independent woman, but I need a boy a boyfriend to, to buy me new high heels and shoes and pay my rent and all this stuff. And I'm 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 not privileged because of that. It just it doesn't make any sense how they can have this. I'm a victim, but I'm also empowered because you can't be both. You know, no, you, can't. Can't. you know. But, 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 but from what so because I, I remember you saying, saying this the other day on your, on your, um, on your channel. channel. And the and problem, problem is, is like my, my sister, sister, she's like, she's like 27, 27 29, twenty-nine, and like, and like we went, went out to dinner, dinner with one of her best, best friends, and they're both doctors. And, and like, like you, know, you know, when, when I, speak I speak about, about these sort of things, things they, they are finding find it very hard, hard to find, find relationships with guys, guys that sort of age, age or guys, guys that, you know, that don't bring you money because, because this is why I, you know, I agree with you that a lot of the guys out here, they feel very low, you know, low self, low self esteem, low self worth. And another thing I've sort of looked at and I was speaking to them about it, that apart from the fact that, yes, they might be doctors, which, They've been, They've been telling, telling me it's a sham, sham over, over here. here. The, the NHS, NHS being, a, you, being a, you know, they're, they're not making any money. It's completely, it's just, just insane. insane. And, I, and, and I was speaking to them saying, saying that, that another flip side, side of it is that, that even though you women might be doctors, when it comes to like being logical and looking at a relationship with a man or how you women have sort of been raised, a lot, a lot of, of even, even my sister and her friends, they still have a messed up idea of how a relationship should go. Even, even though they, they try as much as possible to be independent women, women. When, when it comes, comes to the relationship side of it, they have no clue. clue. It's like, like they're, they're always, always losing, losing to the, to the to sort of girls that, that, you know, this guy just spoke about, you know, these sort of girls wearing the hot pants and those girls later on you find. All they do is, you know, Basically, basically give, give a blowjob or a handjob hand to the guy, the guy that, that has, has a lot of money. money. But then, then afterwards, afterwards, they just, they just revert, revert back, back to how women, women typically are, are which, which you said, said again, again they, they, they can't, can't keep the facade, facade up forever. forever. So, so as soon as, soon as they, they get in there, then they start sort of like displaying this sort of fake comedian-like thing they did before. But the sort of women that are trying to do what they're trying to do, there's not a lot of them out there speaking. There's not, There's not a lot, a lot of, them of them out there, there sort of like, like seeing that, you know, no. this, is this is a problem, a problem that, that is sort of, sort of like hitting us all. And, and they, they find, find that, you know, because you know, my, my sister and her female, female friends, friends, they're very, they're very vocal. vocal. And I, spot, I, and I, I tell, tell them, them listen, listen, you you, you can't, can't say that sort of shit to me because I'll have you. But the majority of men now, they're very PC. And if you're speaking to a guy, you don't really know his background, you might be sensitive in a way. These women are looking for these sort of archetypes of what their fathers were, but their fathers really weren't like that. Because a lot of the time, their fathers were all men giants. You know, going out to work every day, bringing back home the money to your wife. You're basically playing a slave role. And a, and a lot, lot of the time, time you just, just leave the household, household stuff, stuff to your missus. So it's like I tell a lot of the female women I know, and they and can't they comprehend it for some strange reason. You might be able to elaborate on that, that. But I just feel that, that a lot of these, these women, women, they, they might, might have 20% of it, of it majority of them have less than 1% of it. Because I actually, I visited America a couple of years ago in Atlanta, and I was like trying to go around interviewing, interviewing women. women. I actually I went, went up to, to maybe about 20, 30, 30 women, women and said, you know, you know apart from your good looks, looks, what do you have going, going for yourself? Guess, Guess what, what the responses, responses were? One, one woman actually said, said, I have water. water. 
other women, other women actually, actually said, said we have, we have you, you try, try it next, next time, time when you speak to women if you're, if you're bothered. bothered just, just say to them apart, apart from your good you looks, looks what do you what have you going have for yourself? yourself and they, and they have, have zero, zero niche, niche. And, and a society, a society can't, can't be built on this and i find that a lot of the women that are trying their best they fall down because they have a messed up um perception of how they think men should be yeah, uh, you, know, you know. Well, that's the thing. They have nothing sad. going for them, and they're trying to bring men down to their level. That's the problem. They want equality, and they think men have this this thing where we've basically built everything. We've built all the you know homes and everything that's been built in society has been built by men. But they want to make you feel bad for that, and they want to make you feel like you're privileged because you're actually able to build things in society and make society grow. So they want to actually bring you down to where they're at, and then they want to have your level where they think you were, but they don't want to do any of the work that it takes to get there. They just want to like, they, they want to say like, we're as, as important as you. But like what I was talking about that I think is going to be even funnier is right now even, it's harder and harder for women to find guys in colleges to, to have sex with and to date. Most, oh, most girls... Time. Most girls aren't finding people, and the cool thing that's going to happen, and that's going to start happening, less and less boys are going to be in college, and they're going to automatically know with all these stupid laws that feminists are, are talking about, and this whole culture of, uh, you know, rape culture bullshit that's going on, that's complete, that's complete horseshit. Most of these women are going to have a hard time finding any guy that wants to date them in a college because they're going to think they're going to get a false rape accusation and then also the guys are going to start getting smart i believe if, especially if they hear about the MGTOW, they're going to start watching these women and they're going to ask them when they meet some girl in college they're going to be like what are you studying and if she says oh i'm you know political science major or some bullshit like that he's going to be like man what a loser and he's not going to want to date him so these women are going to be in college and they're not even going to be talked to by a man and that's going to that's going to wake a lot of them up and I think it's going to be funny when you're going to see all these gender studies uh, teachers uh, teaching, and they're not married either, you know. Oh, and, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and that's going to be the that's going to be when they're going to start realizing that it's it's like I, we always talk about with the MGTOW monks. You know, there's all these guys talking like the MGTOW monks are so great, but if you watch their videos, you'll see that they don't have a lot of uh, of views. You know, and and not a lot of people want to get on their page and talk all bad about men and about other MGTOWs. So they're not getting a lot of people to watch their videos. And eventually, if they're smart enough, which a lot of them aren't, just like women, eventually they should realize that what they're saying people don't want to hear. Yes, you know, and that typically with women, it doesn't seem to happen. They don't care if nobody's listening to them. They'll still say it. And they'll do it to a fault, to their own detriment. And that's kind of where they're at right now, is a lot of women really think uh, that women want to have something to do with this. And what, what they've done is, in a recent study, they found out that 10% of the U.S. population is feminist. The rest aren't. So there, there's like basically 90% of the U.S. women's population, which is 167 million, 167 million women are being told what to do by 10 percent of them and are and have all of the laws being changed to 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 basically make their lives worse because it's going to make it harder for those women to find a husband and to find a boyfriend because these bitches you know like with red hair and fucking you know horrible fucking attitudes that think men are all bad are going to fuck up their life and that's going to start making, I believe, a lot of these women that don't have anything to do with feminism and don't want to, they're going to come out of the woodwork and say, look, bitch, you don't speak for me. Because what, what I'm finding now is I, I used to tell, used to tell my, my friends, friends maybe, maybe about 15, 15 years, years ago, a lot, a lot of this, this drama was women. women. I, I, I sort of, because I was introduced to women at a very young age. age. I used to hang around with guys and girls, maybe about seven, seven eight, eight years, years older than me so, so i actually, actually got involved with women at a very young age i used to say whatever to women i was you know dating, dating four, four or five, five women at a time, time. And, I, and i and i used to I tell my friends, friends that, that you, you guys, guys don't, don't know, know how, how 
sexually deprived a lot of, I mean, de depraved a lot of women are. They go, how do you mean? I said, well, I've had it on my birthday, just a regular day, when women will actually pay to take me to a hotel, and they'll basically force me to have sex with them, even though I've performed, you know, the majority of the night or whatever. And when I just, you know, finish from work, you know, late in the morning, and I'm just getting some shut eye, just for five minutes, they're stumping around. And I said to a lot of them, you wait. Things are going to change. change. You're going to be getting, getting raped. raped. They thought I was joking. joking. A year ago, a friend of mine calls me up and said, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh my God. like, I can't, I can't believe what you're saying before, but I was, I was just, just being raped, raped by, a by a woman. And I said, and I said have, you, have, you have you made a police report? report? And he and started, started laughing. laughing. I said, it's a shame that you've just gone through being raped by a woman, a friend of yours. A friend of yours for about five, six years, she pretended that, you know, she was a good friend of yours. And, and she, she, she basically locked this guy in her apartment and basically forced him, after about an hour, she said, oh, I know you find me attractive. He goes, no, we're just friends. She basically sexually, you know, raped the guy. And then as soon as the guy, I mean, as soon as the guy didn't want to do anything else with her, she basically handed him his jacket and told him to get out. And I believe that, you know, it's already happening. There are a lot more rapes are going to be happening with, with, with women over in London as well as happening already. They're going to be roofing guys. They're going to be drunk. They're, they're going to, this is what these women are going to start doing. It's, it is. Start doing. We're, we're finding out actually a lot of cases of women doing this and then they're getting pregnant. And they're saying that they were raped by ah. by men, and they do it kind of on purpose to kind of uh, uh, stem the uh, the uh, criticism of themselves. You know, yes. like if they, if they go and they rape some guy while he's drunk and passed out in a in a you know a college dorm or something, they can later come back and when he starts telling her like, "Hey, you had sex with me when I was when I was drunk and." And all this stuff and she'll be like no you were you were actually jumping on me and you wanted to have sex with me and i i said okay and i kind of gave in to you but i didn't want to and all this kind of stuff so they could they kind of placate the the whole thing by saying like you actually raped me i was actually the victim and they they're actually having a lot of cases like that that are coming into court and what's really funny this whole rape culture bullshit that that women talk about there's actually in Great Britain, there was like 67,000 cases that were brought into the courts for rape and only 2,700 were actually convictions. You know, oh, the, 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 the thing, thing about, about Great Britain, Britain with the court system, system, I've done a lot of work over here. here. I actually, actually you, know, you know, taught, taught myself, myself, you know, common, common law, commercial law for the past, past like three, three four years. years and, and, you know, you I used know, to help a lot of people in and out of courts, and from the studies of the time of, um, you know, time of memorial since law started, I found that the court system is nothing more than a massive money-making, you know, degenerative system, where over here in the UK, if you're basically a man, and what's happening now is women are starting to feel the brunt of it, where... A lot, a lot of these, of these companies, companies are actually, because they start the money, they actually, you know, how, how, how it works, works with schools, schools, they get a certain amount of money for every child they have in the school system. It's the same thing with a lot of these um, uh, companies that sort of like break up, break up families. But my point is, is that the court system over here is no longer a court, you know. I mean, some people might, you know, give lip service and say, oh, there's no rule of law in England, but there actually is no rule of law. So, so it's actually, actually pointless, pointless for anybody, anybody to go to, go to any courts, courts in England, England because, because they're just they're run just by administrative law judges, judges without really, really, you know, judges, judges or whatever. But it's, it's like, like they're, they're basically destroying the fabric, fabric of our society. society. And a lot, a lot of these, these rape, rape cases, cases that are happening, because a few of my friends are solicitors and they're dying right now. And they're basically saying that a lot of these cases don't have any merit. But because the court system is based upon money making, they don't, they don't care. care. So, so a lot of guys, guys that are going, going there, there, I mean, how, how could you have, have an individual, individual that's proven that he was drunk, drunk and, it was and it was paralytic? paralytic. A woman, woman has, has sex, sex with him. him. He, 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 she, she basically, basically impregnated herself because he was unconscious, but, but yet still, still hold the guy responsible for the pregnancy, where you can see that the woman, because she had 
she had a I mean, mens, mens rea, which is a guilty, guilty mind, mind, and she did a guilty act. act. That's, That's when, when a crime, crime has happened. happened. But yet, yet again, again, the system, the system will side, side, will side, side with, with the women and say, the, the guy is still going to pay, pay, even though he's, he's gone, gone through, through a rape. rape. Yep. Did you hear about the case in, in uh, I think it was Chicago? There was, a, there was a case in Chicago where a man was... Uh, he didn't even have sex with the woman. He never even had sex with her. And she had a kid, and she was trying to get on welfare. And they asked her who the kid's father was. So she gave the guy's name as the, as the father. And they do this thing where they send out a letter. And he never got the letter. And because he didn't respond within like six weeks or six months or something like that, he was now liable for child yeah, support yeah. for the child and they're at, they actually took him to court and they proved with dna that he's not the father but because he didn't come forward and say he wasn't the father when they mailed him a letter he still has to pay child support for a child that's not his and that he's never even met well, well and, and, and that's, that's why, why that's, that's shocking, shocking but i understand, understand how it's based, based upon, upon adversarial, adversarial grounds, grounds. So, so it's like, like you can, you can see, see that the solicitors, solicitors who were just making make money, money win, win, lose, and draw. They're basically broken. It's basically, broken. It's basically a trading floor. They're win, win, lose, and draw. draw. You, can you can see, see that this is the case. case. But then, then they're going to get, get him on the grounds of, of oh, we, we entered, entered into, into a contractual, contractual obligation with you, which is an impossibility that they might state in the letter, well, if you don't reply in so-so days, then you're liable to blah, blah, blah. And then they use that as evidence to say, ah, which is against the law. That's a crime itself because of fraud at the beginning of the fraud at the end. But I can understand that. And most of these guys, it's like damned if you do, damned if you don't. They don't have a father there or any sort of male figure to assist them. All of the women have gone crazy. And well, you know, you just got to do the right thing. And you think, do the right thing. It's not even my child. But you can't even speak. And this is why I tell a lot of men, avoid, number one, avoid police, you know, any course yeah try telling that to a woman when she's that when she's been raped by a man and she's have it she's going to have a baby to just do the right thing oh never see never, what happens I mean, to you <laughs> and it's, it's an atrocious and, 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 I'm, and i'm liking what's happening now because more and more people you know a lot of a couple of my male friends they're starting to see that the jig is up they're not getting you know most women believe uh all men, men want to do is have sex. sex. That's a lie. Yeah. That, that's a, yeah. a, you know, a myth. And, and I was, I'm having to explain this to a lot of the guys, too, because um, especially when it comes to cases of, like, uh, a, a teacher molest, say, uh, a kid, right? You know, yeah. Yeah. Typically male when this happens, but it also happens to females. And uh, you see a lot of guys and like, oh, yeah, that, guy, that kid's so fucking lucky. What's he complaining about? And it's like, you fucking retard. You know, you don't understand that not all guys are like you. You're just projecting what you want upon what someone else, is, what someone else well, uh, does want. Here's the problem with that as well that's really kind of funny now is because over 70% of US and the world actually 70% of teachers now are women mm -hmm. the amount of rapes uh, child child uh, child rapes from teachers are women oh, you know? yeah and that's and, and, ba basically almost every case like like one out of every 10 cases of of raping at a college at a college or a high school is women is is men i mean all the rest, like nine, to, nine of the ten are, are women. So I, I, mostly it's boys being raped by women. And you get into this uh, concept where um, most people know that when, when a woman gets to the age of about 28 to about 39 or 45 or somewhere around there, that's basically their sexual peak. You know, mm -hmm. so usually, while, yeah, yeah. yeah, usually what happens is boys sexual peak is like from 16 to about 25 or 27, you know, basically that's their, mm -hmm. that's where they want to fuck everything that has a hole, you know, and what happens is they get into college and they meet women in college and obviously they're in the mood to fuck some chicks. And by the time they get out of college, they really don't, they're not, they just want to get married and, you know, find some girl and fuck her once a month or something like that. They don't really care anymore. Mm -hmm. But women are in college they want to find like a husband and they find one and then they get married and then they're 
they go out and now they have a master's degree and they're teaching at a high school or a grade school, typically a high school. And now they're like 27, you know, so they start working and then they get tenure. And now they've worked at a school and they're now like 32 or 33. They've been working for six or seven years as a teacher. And then all of a sudden, little boys that are like 16 or 15 or 14 start to look really cute. You know, they start to look really cute because now they're getting horny. Their husband hardly has sex with them anymore because they're fucking bitches. And then the, the little boys are starting to look really cute because the little boys are, you know, their hormones are running around and they're looking at the teacher thinking she's cute. And and so she gets the idea, hey, I, I'm going to fucking get one of these guys to have sex with me, you know, which is why it's happening more and more. More and more of these women are ending up raping little boys because they're they're fucking retards. You know, they they shouldn't be teaching little boys in the first place. Let's see, I was, I was, I was getting, getting into it with the, with the, uh, with the mother, mother, but, mother because, because um, uh, one, of one of the people, people I have on, uh, on Facebook, Facebook, they actually... They actually um, um, they actually respond to a comment, comment when basically, basically the, the, the woman was like, oh, yeah, yeah you know, you know hand, this, hand, this, hand this boy his luckiest, uh, his luckiest, uh, his luckiest man, man of the year or whatever. Or whatever. It was the quote from South Park when uh, the teacher the rapes the, the, the baby, uh, the, the, the Jewish, Jewish kid, uh, uh, Canadian, Canadian baby. baby. Whatever, <laughs> fucking. Um, um, but uh, I, so, so he asked her, was like, how the fuck would you like if that was your son? And she got majorly butthurt that you would even bring her son into it because apparently he was in that, yeah, got into a car or something like that. But it's like, like she couldn't fucking make the connection between um, between someone else's going through, going through that and her possibly going through it. She's like, no, you can't talk about that. I'm like, I'm like, well, just hypothetically imagine you were the other person. And, yep. and, and, and you'll, want, and you'll see, see why we object, object. Yep. so, so fucking, fucking much. much. I'm actually, I'm actually, having, I'm actually having, having the, uh, the, uh, the foresight like, to put myself, put myself in, someone in someone else's position. position. I feel, I feel fucking, fucking horrible. horrible. I would feel yeah. like, like I was the victim, victim in this as well. well. And, well I want, I, I, and I have to tell my kid, you know, fucking no one gives a shit about you because in our society, I do though. That's, yeah. And I'm like, you know, it's, yeah, it's, well, that's the problem with most women. Most women have this stupid moronic idea that all men are ready to go. 100 mm -hmm. percent of the time that it doesn't matter if we just got home from work and we did a 16 hour shift if the wife comes out in a negligee we're just going to hop her hop on her bed and fuck the shit out of her you know that we're not going to be tired and say no nah, honey i'm i'm too fucking tired i just want to shower and something to eat i'm gonna go to bed they don't think that men are like that and i always tell men i've done this before because i'm i'm asexual and I've done this before in relationships where a woman will offer sex to me and I'll turn him down. That bitch will go fucking nuts. I think you'd love that. I think you'd love that. I, I used to I yeah. love it. It, 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 feels, it feels like, like birthday, birthday, Christmas, Christmas yeah. Hanukkah, <laughs> you, <or> whatever. Yeah. <laughs> you were not allowed to turn a woman down for sex. I had oh, my no. second wife when I turned her down. The last time I turned her down, I actually kicked her out of my house. I, I divorced her because she actually wanted to have sex. And I was like, no, I don't want to have sex. And I'm I'm tired. I don't want to have, you know, I'm not, not into it. She actually literally grabbed a hold of my dick, you know, and was like squeezing it. Like she was going to try to rip it off and stuff. And like, you know, she got pissed off. And I kicked her out of my fucking house after that, you know. And that's the way they are. If you, if you They think men are always ready to go. And if they're ready to go, you should be ready to go because you're a man. So when you call them out and show them that that's not the case, they don't want to be, they, they don't want to think in their own head that maybe I'm not sexy, maybe I'm not attractive. They just can't get their head around that. So if a man doesn't want to have sex with me, then it's something that I'm, I've, I'm not pretty enough. He, he's not attracted to me anymore, something like that. So that'll get him fucking pissed. So because yeah, they, they automatically, they, they automatically go agree. internal. You know, but they go internal automatically. That, sorry, sorry, wouldn't you then agree that, that from, from your, your professional, professional estimation, estimation that, that most, most women demonstrate traits of either sociopathic traits, traits narcissism? narcissism. Because, because for, I, mean, I mean, for the, the comment, comment that you've just said there about the woman who said, oh, the guy, the boy should be happy. This is so devoid of any sort of like, like empathy. It's so devoid from, I mean, and, and, if you, and, and for her not, not to recognize that, that, I mean, I don't know if you guys, guys saw this documentary, documentary by my guy, um, Louis, Louis Farouk, when he when went and he was like basically 
um, um, interviewing, interviewing sex, sex offenders, offenders and he interviewed, interviewed a, woman, a woman, a teacher, teacher as, you, as you, rightly you rightly said. said. And, and the look, look on her face, face. And, and, and the thing, the thing about, about it is, is when, when this, this whole, whole big thing, thing happened in the UK, UK when, when there was like this Facebook paedophile ring of, you know, these women and they were taking, I was so happy that that, that came, came to light, to light. Because, because I was, I was, I was on, on my own for years, years saying, saying that these women are covert, covert operators. operators. And, and the, the, the funny, funny thing, thing about, about that whole, whole, um, whole, whole situation, situation was, was they, were they were basically trying, trying to blame it on, on the guy, guy. the guy yeah, that didn't yeah, take the pictures, the guy that wasn't around, but they said he was the ringleader. Yeah, they always try to find some guy to blame it on. So, so what so do you want to say, say that, that these, these women, women are, so, you know, yeah, sociopaths, sociopaths, at least sociopaths, sociopaths. borderline? Yeah. I would, my, my, I would say that ninety-five percent of women, even the ones that aren't like feminists, I would say ninety-five percent of women are are sociopaths, yeah. and they're also they're also like uh, pathological liars. Oh, I would say, you know, well, because well, women have women have no accountability that's the, that's the thing they have no accountability i feel like, like shedding, shedding tears, tears right, right now, now because <laughs> it's, it's getting, getting closer, closer. Yeah, it's, it's, I don't know when most men are going to wake up and see that you know the way i looked at it is that you know when i was younger i had when I was, when I was in school, school you know, you, you had, had young guys, guys that, you know, they'll have older, older guys, guys that they looked, looked up to, they'll do it, you know, like, you know, gang, gang members, members or whatever. Or whatever. And, and I used to have conversations with these guys that said, that you do, do realize, realize you're the one doing most of the work. You're the one going out there doing whatever you have to do. They go, yeah, so it means why are you, you know, answering to this guy? He doesn't do anything. And that's what I'm saying this to guys as well. If you're, you're the, the one, one doing it, if you're, you're the one laying the roles, roles, if you're, you're the one bringing the money, money in, if you know how to cook, cook if you know how to look after, after the babies, babies change, change the nappies. The nappies. So, so what is she there, there for? for? Exactly. But, but it yeah. still surprises yeah. me that in 2015, most people or most men just can't get this into their big heads. I mean, it's right there. So I'm quite happy that this is happening and because, because there has, has to be, to be an equilibrium at some point. Some point. And, yeah, I, I, yeah. I, I, I can't see it continuing because although there are a lot of manginas and a lot of simps and a lot of white knights, it, it can't go on forever because when you start to realize that you're being used, it's kind of like when you're a friend to somebody and you don't really have a lot of friends and you're, you're, you have like this one or two people that you think are your friends and then eventually you realize that they're actually using you that you're you're you might say well I don't have any other friends and they're my only friends so if they're gonna use me at least I have somebody I can like hang out with eventually you're gonna get pissed off and you're gonna say fuck them I'm gonna find somebody else and even if I don't have any friends at least I'm not getting used and I think eventually that's what's gonna happen a lot of these white knight simp mangina fuck tards are gonna be blue pill and purple pill and they're going to see these women like telling them what to do. You know, like when you look at that fucking Macintosh fucktard, you know. Oh, when, Macintosh? Yeah. When no, you look I, at, I didn't hit that for a second. <laughs> yeah, when you, when you look at people like that, eventually these guys are going to stop simping. And they're going to start saying, I don't want anything to do with a woman, really. I don't care. And it's going to force women, even the ones that aren't feminists, the ones that say, like, look, I'm not feminist at all. I don't want anything to do with it. Those women are going to have to come out of the woodwork, and they're going to have to start being like Karen Strong and these people. And they're going to have to start coming out and actually speaking against it. They're going to have to st be, and that's the only way men are going to actually believe it. Because when a woman says, like, I'm not like that, I'm a Nawalt, guys are going to be like, fuck you, and fuck your Nawalt. And they're going to just not believe them. So you're going to literally have to ad adamantly stand up against feminists and say, look, I'm not feminist. I don't want anything to do with it. I think it's fucked up. I like my position in life. I like that I can, you know, take care of you. I like that I can have your children. I, all I want to do is be a good wife to you. I don't want to be an asshole. I don't want to take your shit. I don't want to control you. I just want, to, I just want you to love me and I just want you to take care of me. 
I just want to be a real woman and not be a bitch. Women are going to have to literally come out and say that and do that. And every guy is going to start making them sign prenups. And they're just going to be basically get to the point where nobody is going to be getting married unless they do that. And they're going to be like, look, you can say whatever you want. I know how women are. If you want to marry me, you're going to have to sign a prenup. And if they say, no, I don't want to sign a prenup, then he says, like, first of all, I'm not going to marry you. Second of all, move out of my house right now. You know, See, why, and that's this basically why what's like, going to end up happening. Uh, I like a lot of my female, female friends for this because, because I, I, guess I guess I do know, I do know quite, quite a few uh, nails and, and fucking, and fucking um, um, they do they do, they do actually speak up about this. Like one, one of the girls, girls I talk to on a regular basis, basis um, the girl um, I was uh, lacing, uh, lacing up the corsets, corsets for, she um, she's very she's active into this and whatnot. And uh, uh, when when she, when she uh, met her husband, husband she uh, was kind of she was actually really overweight. Um, but and she's um, but she uh, met her husband and she just kind of she just kind of told him you know hey this is what uh, these are girls are like. In fact, she was telling me. That there was this girl, girl that was that was, go, that was pursuing her husband, husband, and basically the thing that really pissed her off and made her actually, um, fucking, uh, that actually made her succeed in, get, in basically seducing her husband into marrying her and you know, getting with her eventually, is um, is she uh, she heard this chick, this chick that was her, supposedly her friend say, oh yeah, I'm just gonna take that guy and I'm gonna you know fucking use him and all this other shit. She was so disgusted that she stopped being friends with this girl and just basically said, hey, you know. Just to let you know, you know, she really shouldn't uh, pursue this girl because she's just out to get me, basically. And he was like, he was taken aback by her honesty, and it was like, you know, maybe maybe there's something to this. You pursued a relationship with that girl, and they've been together ever since. You know, they're married and they have a kid together, and they're really happy. She actually ended up, um, you know, doing the things like losing a bunch of weight and uh, improving her lifestyle so that she can, um, she can provide the value to the guy that she's with. Yep. Which I find is awesome. Yeah. I think that is. Well, that's the way it used to be. It, yeah, the yeah. the thing that they're having now is you're not supposed to you're not supposed to tell them anything about their life. That's that's mm -hmm. shaming them in some way, fat shaming, whatever. There used to be a time back in the day when women would have babies and then they would lose the weight and they would try to stay in shape and they would try to stay nice so that they they knew their husband was out working and trying to make money so that they could have a nice life, so that they could have a nice life for their kids. And the wife felt it was her duty to try to stay sexually active for her husband and, and look nice. And now it's like you meet some girl, she's pretty hot, and she shaves her pussy and she looks really sexy, naked and all this stuff. And then they have a kid and they gain like 100 pounds. And oh. then they don't lose it. And then after like a year after they have the kid, that they, they've gained a hundred pounds, but now they gain another sixty pounds. And pretty soon mm -hmm. you you married some girl that was like a hundred and twenty five pounds. Now all of a sudden she's almost three hundred pounds. And then they and then if you say like I'm not really that attracted to you, you're not allowed to say that anymore. And they don't even try. They don't shave their pussy. They don't do anything. And they don't even try to make you make themselves look sexy for you anymore. And when you call them out on it. They they're like well I I don't have to do that that's you know you're you're trying to be like part of the patriarchy trying to make me make me stay relevant in our relationship you know and then they then they're allowed to say like you're not the same guy I married when they spend their whole time in the relationship trying to get you to change and do things like do the dishes and do the laundry and do everything so that they can sit on their ass all day and watch fucking soap operas and then they want to make you feel bad for it. They still want to make you feel like, like, oh, well, I'm fat now and you don't want to have sex with me and you're just fat shaming me and ooh, I want to cry. And then you, you end up having sex with them. And I feel that's kind of almost like having, like raping somebody because you're like guilting them and having sex with you. You know, it'd be like sitting down with some woman and crying about stuff and then having her give you like a pity fuck. You know, and basically that's what a lot of this, a lot of marriages end up being when you end up with some fat, chubby fucking woman. That's in, that ends up being what you end up having. You end up having a lot of pity fucks. Man, man. <laughs> man, see, I, I, I did not miss dating, uh, dating when I dated chicks. I've only uh, actually sexually been with two chicks. One of them uh, sexually assaulted me and the other one and fucking totally got away because no one gave me a single fuck. Um, um, like, like I bet, like, like, people have uh, asked me why I have a sixth sense of humor, and that, that is probably, probably where that stems from. from. Because, because every time I mentioned, I mentioned it, it, 
I got I lost, got lost at. I was, like, so, so I had so to I basically, basically learn to, learn to learn fucking, fucking uh, uh, internalize it. Well, you're a trans. Well, you're trans, so you're a deviant. Yeah, oh, yeah, that too. Well, I wasn't always trans, so it's always more recently. But, um, um yeah, yeah, when I mentioned, I mentioned this, this as a guy, guy fucking, fucking, like, like uh, other guys would laugh. In fact, it was actually a, um, uh, my, uh, my, my best friend, she's, uh, she's, she's a girl, but she fucking hates, hates other, women. other women. She cannot, she cannot stand, stand them. them. She's, 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 she used to date women. She's like, nope, going back to the dick, fuck this. She couldn't stand, she dated women for years because she believed all the, all the lies about how men are fucking, you know, sex, they're just perverts. So she dated women, she's like, no, women are not only way pervier, but they are fucking entitled. She's like, I'm like, I've got no time for that shit. Well, and, the, th um, the thing that I, really I really don't like is the the a lot of guys just don't ever see it until you get into the situation where you're sitting with women hey, and you see those baby. little underhanded comments, mm -hmm. you know, those little like they have these really horrible ways of cutting each other down and making each other like dropping them down a fucking peg. And they're just really snarky, narcissistic fucking comments that are just really Really, like really underhanded to where the the a lot of the girls get so hurt they almost want to go into the bathroom and cry, and they're just so fucking horrible. They're just such nasty narcissistic bitches, and then they want you to make you they want you to actually treat them like they're ladies and like they're wonderful. But most women do that kind of shit, and they're not kind to each other. And women are some of the most dirty, nasty fucking narcissistic people on the fucking planet and then they want you to act like they're great and they're not yeah, yeah well, well and then you, 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 some, you, you say, say you meet, meet someone, someone like that, that is uh it's like, it's like that, that. How, how the fuck, fuck do you know you know yeah how do you how do you how do you know, do you know, do you know that they're that actually genuine, genuine given, given the amount, amount of women that aren't, aren't like that. that well that's the thing they'll never show you that they're like that until they get the ring on their finger yeah that's when they got you that's when they got you and that's why i tell them like it's like even me Personally, with relationships relationship with women, I've never, never ever, ever taken, taken a woman serious. serious. Hence, Hence why, why I just, I just found, found myself, you know, you know having, having multiple females. females. It, it, it was, was almost like, like a game, game of like musical like chairs. chairs. And because I always, always it, it, the reason was, was when I was younger, a lot of women, women they, they used to tell me some fucked up shit about men. And I was and like, I Jesus, Jesus, I, I, I can't, can't be one of the, I can't end up being, being one of these guys. guys. So, so I became like the milkman, milkman sort of, you know, know sort of sort archetype where I deliver the stuff, stuff, got a great body, great, great sense of humor, humor but I just, I just don't, don't take them seriously. seriously. And it's and like so a lot of my buddies now that are married, they're basically living lives of hell. And I, and I, I just, just think, think to myself that when you were, you, were, you know, you, know, you can, can never say, say but I was lucky, lucky maybe because, because, you know, I was introduced to, you know, when and I, was, and I was very sensitive as a young boy. boy. But, you, you know, know, I'm, I'm saying, saying to them, like, like how, how could you not you learn from other people's mistakes, like, and then go into it thinking that you are some sort of an exception to the rule? I say to them, for you to sort of be in a positive, positive relationship you've got to have many years of reinforcements it's like, like driving a car before you started, started driving a car, car you had to have, have simulations. simulations but none, none of these people, people ever, ever thought, thought to themselves of having a simulation, simulation. they go in there thinking i mean one, one of my childhood, childhood friends you know unfortunately, unfortunately for him but i've known this for years the other day he actually confessed to me that you know he's up they just recently got married and he said his missus the other, other day just said to him, him she doesn't find him attractive, attractive anymore, man. sexually attractive. I was like, like, I mean, I mean it's he's, he's number, number one. one. She, he shouldn't he should have got involved, involved with the situation, situation, but he has his, his own, own issues. issues. But, but I mean, what are the, what are the, well, I know what I would have done with that, but this is, I see this has happened to a lot of men. And, and you imagine, imagine like, like, you know, you're, you're, you're 29, 29 or you're 26 and you're married and, married and your, your woman's a narcissist, a narcissist, your mother's a narcissist, a narcissist the, the whole, whole fucking, fucking, I mean, the Kardashians, the Kardashians is, I mean, it's just, just proliferated and you're not having women, women like, like what you've just said. said. You know, you're not having a lot of women that are voicing out to say this is not right. And what does that even say that people like Karen Strong or whatever her name is are having to speak out for men? Well, I mean, I mean it, and, it's and it's almost, almost like, like you're, you're not, not even, even being, being a man. That's, that's even, even more demeaning, demeaning where, where a woman, woman is having, having to speak, speak out, out for you. You, you have, have not. not and it's, and it's, it's shocking. shocking. It's absolutely, absolutely shocking. shocking. I did a video on that not too long ago. 
the problem is is women don't want men to have a voice they don't want to have them allow them to speak because they they have a lot of platitudes and a lot of things they will speak on and a lot of bullshit studies that they've done they they do these studies where they'll go into a college class that's a that's a, a gender studies class and there might be 30 or 40 or even a hundred students and so lots of those are guys and some of them are simps and white knights but a lot of them aren't they're just taking the class because they have to and a lot of them are feminists but a lot of them aren't so maybe out of that hundred people in the class 20 of them are feminists so they do a study and they ask them some some very vague questions about about gender and they come up with you know 68 percent of the class thinks this but then they don't say that it's a college class. They say it's a study that was done. They don't say how many people were in the study. And they just say like 68% of, of women think this. And then they can go around and they can tout that study as, as some proof of some bullshit that they came up with. And then when you call them out on that, they get mad. And they never, they never will give you the study or how it was conducted or what was the control group they don't give you any of that shit they just tell you that this study was done and it proves that you know the patriarchy is real this study proves that the that the gender pay gap is real this study proves this and if you look back and you find out how the study was conducted it's always been made into a way where it makes their point provable you know it's yeah, it's the course. equivalent of a of a wiki link kind of uh mentality where they don't actually have real proof and that's why they don't want men to have a, a platform to speak because if they do men don't work that way our minds don't work that way so when we when we want to prove a point we get real studies real bullshit and men have that when they get up on the on a podium they start talking they start spitting truth and that's not something that women like women don't want truth they want to be able to play a shell game you, oh, know, definitely. you know so they yeah. they don't like that whole concept of like men are going to have a platform and they're going to make everything that we say look stupid because we are in fact stupid so we don't want them to speak at all and that's basically yeah, where they're at right now yeah exactly you know and then if they if you can prove that the first thing they do that it's just a typical technique that is always used when they try to talk to you and they try to convince you that you're wrong, after a while, eventually they'll come and they'll say like, you know, well, you're just a misogynist and you're just a woman hater and blah blah. They don't actually have anything to say. And when they devolve, when they when they go to that point and they start just character assassinating you, that just means that everything that you've said is true, and that they have no comebacks for it. And that basically just proves your point. As soon as a woman does that, just like that. Just like that uh, Canada Gin 3 that I the video I did on her. When you seen the way she talked about it, she had no points to prove what I said was wrong. And all she started doing is just trying to character assassinate because they have no points. And that's the first way for you as a, as a man to realize what you've said has had an effect. Because if they can't come back with some real bullshit to to make what you've said you know to have like a real conversation about something if they can't come back with something real that shows that what they what they had to say was complete bullshit and you already have a leg up and guy more guys need to realize that more guys more guys need to realize when you're having a conversation with a woman and you're throwing truth bombs out and she starts telling you that you're a misogynist and you're a woman hater and you're an, a, an apologist and you're all this shit Instead of telling you why that what you said was wrong and her just saying that you, you're just saying that because you're a misogynist. When they throw shit out like that, they have no nothing to back that up, which more men need to realize that once they've done that, you've already won the conversation and you can stop talking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because then, then you can just let them fucking, fucking hang, hang themselves, themselves with, their, uh, uh, with more rope. rope. Yeah, I, when they start doing that, I'll be like, well, obviously I'm right, so I'm done talking now. You know, I mean, and that'll, that'll piss them off. That'll send them off the fucking deep end right there. 
I mean, I'm just going to go deep that. It's just to say, so what, what's, what's your point? point? Because, because, you know, you know, you know, know in many, many jousting, jousting, you know, around people, people growing, growing up, up and people, people always trying to call that thing in London and take the piss out of you. You know, it's all banter, as they say. So I'm saying, so what? And when you say that to the majority of people, yeah, I'm an and. And that's, and that's just, just it, it, you see. And, and I, I, don't I don't know why a lot, lot, a, a lot, lot of guys, guys don't have that. that and, you, know, you know, thank God, God amongst, amongst a lot of my friends, friends I'm the one that will stand up. up you know, you a, a, a woman, woman can never call me, me whatever. whatever. And, if and if she, she did, did, so what? Yeah. And, you know, you've, you know, got, you've got, got to think for me. I know you have a thing for me, but I'm not into you right now. You know, right now. And, and well, they, they hate that shit too, boy. If you, oh, yeah, yeah. if they even, if they even fancy you a little bit, god damn it, you gotta fuck me. You know that's oh, that's yeah. the way they are. Like if if you think if if I think you're cute, then you gotta fuck me tonight because I want it. And and then after it happens, I'm gonna say you raped me. You know that's oh, the way wow. a lot of women are. You know they're just like I'm a victim. You know even though I'm the one that's being the aggressor, they're the aggressor entirely in life. And then they act like, no, I'm a victim. Oh, yeah. There was a, there was, when, I, when I used to live in England, I used to go clubbing quite a bit. Mainly because I, uh, I, used to, I used to work in a club and I used to get free admission to most of the other clubs. Because uh, they were all owned by, owned by the same guy. But uh, one time I was out with, this, with my mates. And um, I, I lost them because, you know, fucking club atmosphere kind of gets hectic. And uh, this fucking, um, like, huge bitch. She must have been easily been 300 pounds, maybe more. Um, not, attractive, not attractive, fucking fuck, greasy, greasy as fuck. fuck. She, grabs she grabs me right me now. now. I'm teeny I'm tiny, tiny, right? I'm, I'm, I, at the I'm time, I probably only weighed about 100, 100 maybe 110 pounds at most. most. And, uh, she, yeah, yeah, I'm just, I'm just a complete, complete mismatch of body, body fucking, uh, body, body types. types. And, she and she grabs me, and she grabs me very violently on my wrist and refuses to let go. And she starts, like, dancing up on me and shit. Now, I'm trying to find my mate so I can fucking, uh, find out if they're alright, you know, fucking, see if they, you know, how it gets in clubs, you know, you can easily get into a fight. And so I'm just so like, well, shit, you know, I'm, I'm away from them. It could either happen to me or happen to them. And this bitch would not fucking let me go. And, like, I actually had to end up fucking knocking her in her face because she was hurting me. Like, I, I straight up fucking knocked her flat on her ass. It was the way I fucking did it, though. It was fucking great. Uh, fucking, it was, um... I, uh, I knew the club pretty well. And, uh, and uh, she, she was grabbing my wrist, and she was grabbing so, so tight, tight, I was like, hey, you fucking, fucking let go, you're hurting me. She's like, yeah, yeah, you're, yeah, you're gonna, gonna buy me a drink, you're gonna buy me a drink. Not asking me to buy her a drink, just telling me I'm gonna buy her a drink. I'm like, fuck you, you nasty bitch. Not even with a stolen dick would I fucking wanna have anything to do with you. You should come back. Because this is what's going on now, it's becoming bad. It's coming Oh, oh, you should come back. This is like fucking, this shit's like fucking, like, like what? Like, like 10, 10, 12, 12 years, years ago, ago, right? We used to I mean, come back, it's even worse. It's even worse now. I, I, yeah, yeah, last, last time I went back there, there I, got, I, got, I, got, I got me a fucking life lesson, lesson, let me tell you. I don't think I can go back. Um, but yeah, the way I got rid of her is, um, is like I said, I knocked her up. It's the way I did it, because I was, I'm so fucking small. What kind of, what use am I against the fucking, someone who's like three times my size? So, so I, I I fucking, fucking like I looked at I, I saw one of the bars in the, the, in the distance across, across the um, um across the nightclub. It's fucking cute. cute. And, um, and um, I kind of just waved to, like, like with, with my free hand at someone. And I was like, 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 like kind of like acting like I was having a good time, right? And fucking someone over there was uh was uh you know I I recognized him. I was like, oh yeah yeah yeah. And I was pointing at me, right? And I fucking waved. And she turned around to see what I was doing. I was like, right now I fucking got you, bitch. So I so I fucking leaned all the way back. Right. Pulled her Pulled fucking her towards, towards me, me and then and just, just fucking put my full force, force of my weight, weight behind my fist, my fist and just, just fucking jumped, jumped into her face. face. Knocked, Knocked her, her fucking, fucking out cold. cold. I'm like, right, right. Now, now I'm gonna go, go fucking, fucking slink, slink, slink into, into the, the shadows. shadows. <laughs> like yeah. fucking Creed yeah. style. Yeah. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> and, and since I'm so short, I just I managed to get away and just kind of fuck off before she managed to do something. Apparently, Apparently my mates, mates were actually, actually at, that at that bar, bar watching, watching the whole, whole fucking time, time. <laughs> laughing <laughs> their ass yeah. off. I'd be fucking, fucking dodging with this fat bitch. Like, I can't fucking fucking mash her in the face. face. I was like, dude, I had no, I had no choice. choice. My, 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 choice. Fucking my fucking shit, my wrist, she bruised the shit out of it. I was like, wow, man. Yeah, I wasn't even there to fucking meet girls. I was just there to hang out with mates, you know? I was like, I can't deal with that shit anymore. I go to, yeah. I, I, whenever I want to drink, I drink at home. I mean, I go to bars just to make sure my friends are okay. What I would really like to see happen is I would really like to see them take make colleges 
and mm -hmm. bars and things like that that are like safe spaces for women where mm -hmm. women can go hang out at them and like all women colleges and stuff like that and all boy colleges if they went back to that again women would basically not be able to get married anymore because that's basically what would ha end up happening because and you would see very few women go into college because if if women wouldn't go can't go into college and find a husband or a boyfriend to get knocked up by they don't want to be in college anyways because that's the only reason they're there mm -hmm. and, and and why and i would agree, agree with what you what just, just said, said now is because, because a lot, lot of, of the women, women i did go, go to college with the university, university with, with. You, you find, find them, them oh, oh you know i've got, got this degree blah blah blah, 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 blah you know men are you know men and women are equal blah 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 you know i'm gonna have a husband what, what they, started they started doing over here was, was they'll say all of that rubbish, rubbish. And, then and then you, you find, find them, them getting, getting pregnant, pregnant by some scrotes. They all got <laughs> by some, by some <laughs> ruffian. And they, and they all started, started being on benefits. benefits. So, so I used to say to a couple of my young guys, I said, what ever happened to a few friends? Oh, you know, she's got a baby. So she's a baby mama now. Oh, yeah, she's It's me. So what was all of this talk about her being in? intellectually forward you know this oh i'm a woman hear me more but i'm not gonna rip your head off what happened to that you see them now 29 thrumping looking run down and i tell a lot of these guys these guys have got the value value these women they're hypothecating their market there's more and more, more women, women now in society, society that are just, just like, like, you know, dog, dog face, face nutters. They don't, <laughs> they don't, they, they they don't, don't sort of like hold themselves, hold themselves in high, high esteem. esteem. So, so if, if we, we go, go on the laws of economics, economics that would dictate that, that, that because, because something, something is so, so much in our society, society the, market the market value is low. That's the same thing with a lot of these women. Their market value is very low. And that's why a lot of these women are turning to, you know, strong arm and a guy into kissing her. I mean, I, mean, I, I love, love it. it. I, I absolutely, absolutely love this because, because I'm, in I'm in a great, great time. time. I'm, I'm in a great time, time to see all of this debauchery, all, all of this insanity, insanity take place. And, and there's going to have, have to be a, a reckoning. And, I, and, I, and, I, and, I, and I'm, I'm just so happy. happy. <laughs> well, the, the, the nice, the nice you know, thing that people. you find is that in most schools and most colleges and in most cities, women are actually about three to one over men. Which means oh, yeah, that yeah. even if every woman on the planet got married, there would still be like two thirds of the women on the planet that wouldn't be married. <laughs> so there's not enough women to go around. So they try to like inflate what their worth is. Like like they're so you should respect them and I'm a woman, hear me roar, all this kind of bullshit. And that's why you see a lot of uh home wreckers as well. Because there's not enough men to go around. And like sure. like I say, most of the women that graduate college can't find a husband anymore because there's not enough guys going to college so you'll see more and more women are starting to not be able to find a husband not be able to find guys and it's it's gonna it's gonna get worse and worse but it's also kind of funny for us because more and more men are gonna start waking up to the realization and the cool thing like we always talk about here in japan with the herbivore men with the 70 percent population of herbivore men most women in japan can't can't find japanese boyfriends or husbands it's very rare and although there is a lot of people in japan getting married and having kids and stuff like that a lot of people just like when they talk about the transgender movement and stuff like that a lot of people will point to those few people like you know a hundred thousand people this year or something that got married to say that it's it's still you know people still believe in marriage and still believe in it but when you're looking at a at a culture of you know like in kobe last year there was only like uh, like i think a thousand and a thousand and one children were born you know oh, wow. and you're yeah, talking yeah, I, about I, 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 in kobe there's like there's like a hundred and sixty a hundred and thirty four million or something like that in kobe so when you're looking at a hundred and thirty four million people and only a thousand children were born I can, yeah, I can I can tell, tell, you, tell you now, now that that's nothing. Japanese, Japanese governments, governments they're gonna, they're gonna be, be taking, taking more, more foreigners, foreigners because, of because of that. Yeah, because well, that's what I'm saying. That's they're, they're wanting to, to bring. To, I'm I'm thinking that that.
they are, they're actually talking about this, that they're thinking that the Japanese population will be completely gone by 2050. Mainly Ooh, because... 2050? Two, yeah, That's because... That's like no time, no time at all. Yeah, exactly. because two-thirds two of the population are going to be uh, gone. Because two-thirds of the population are going to be elderly, and they're dying off. And as they're dying off, no no kids are being born. So the culture is going to have these huge drops where basically because this has been going on since 1976, so less and less people are getting married, less and less children are being born. So as the older people, the older generation drops off and they die and people are committing suicide and all these things are happening, the culture is just its having these huge fluctuations where it's going down and down and down. Like every year we're losing, you know, like 20 or 30,000 people, 100,000 people are dying, you know, things like that. But you're only getting a few, you know, like 50 or 60 or 100,000 people that are being born, you know. So what we're having is we're having a fluctuation of, you have to have a, a, a replacement of the same you know you, you want to have an above replacement so if one person's dying you want like two people being born that kind of thing so you can grow your culture but what's happening now is like you know like for every five people that die like one person is being born so we're having we're having this like the economy everything is tanking because of that and eventually what's going to happen is no women are going to be able to find a husband unless it's somebody outside of japan and what that's going to do all these white knight mangina simps that want to have an asian girlfriend is going to come here to japan get married have kids those kids are going to get married to each other maybe and have kids and eventually the japanese culture is going to be no more because there isn't going to be anybody that's truly japanese they're all going to be mixed you know, and that's what they're talking that that's going to happen within the next 50 years. Look at that. Uh, see, you know, see, the only and thing it's I because can, they're the fucking up their own is, culture. The only the thing, thing I have to say to this is, 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 is that sounds like your problem. They go, you know, yeah, <laughs> exactly. That's your problem. That's not mine. I don't give a fuck. You know, I'm just going to be yep, teaching yep. them. I don't care either way. I, I, I try to do my part and and look how like shit I was treated. No, thank you. I'm I'm done. Yep. Sounds like a smart, a smart individual, individual because, because you know, and, and a lot, a lot of, the of the times, you know, that's, that's why a lot, a lot of the times, times when we're, we're, we're talking about the UK and, and Germany and, and you know, there's well, massive, massive floods of immigrants, immigrants coming over. Well, well, if a lot, a lot of people, people knew about this whole thing about asset backed securities and, you know, financial instruments, they'll know that what's happened is this whole idea of, you know, borrowing from the, from the future, future to enjoy, to enjoy the, present the present is what's leading, leading to a lot of this stuff, stuff you know, you know hypothecation of financial instruments, derivatives to, you know, to absorb amounts. amounts. You're, You're going to have to, because, because in Japan, Japan, a lot more people, people not having children, children so, so they're still in the paradigm of having credit cards and, you know, forwarding credit from the future to pay off them out. And that's a lot of the documentaries I watch saying that a lot of the elderly in Japan, I don't know if it's true, a lot of them are committing suicide, they're living in, you know, abject poverty, they don't have spent time with their families. Who Who is going to pay for these people? The pensions are already gone. We already, you know, know, our generation, generation, I'm just in my early 30s, I already, I I, I figured figured out in 2007, there 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 isn't isn't any pension. You You can forget forget about about that that sort of stuff. stuff. So they're they're going to have to do that. that. And another problem about it is this, if if you're having, this is another thing, if you're having a massive people coming into your country, do they sort of understand the values? And it seems that now, Everyone has this left, left, not everyone, but every, you know, majority of people trying this leftist ideology to, you know, you can't say anything, you know, only God can judge me, I can do whatever the hell I want, you know, the golden uterus shines supreme amongst all, so people just come into a country, not really hold the ideas, and as you're saying, by 2050, that's, that's just basically a pebble throw away, that's just... <laughs> That's well, that's, 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 a lot of people don't realize how bad it's going to get. This, I mean, this may not even be a big deal because I'm always talking. A lot of people have this idea that that uh, uh, climate change isn't real and all this stuff, and they don't realize that storms are getting worse. They're talking that we only have 53 years of of uh, fossil fuels left. 
of of oil and gas. So we're we're using them at such a rate, and that's at the rate that we're using them right now. I mean, they're going to continue to you know increase because they keep making cars people are still being born people are wanting more cars these kind of things so we're going to run out in the next 53 years we're going to run out of oil we're having they're saying right now at the current rate of co2 emissions that we're going to um, have a 16 foot sea level rise in the next 50 years so california is gone uh, Flor Florida is gone. Boston's gone. Uh, New York is gone. Uh, Louisiana is gone. A lot of places are going to be gone. Not only on top of that, you're going to also have problems with climates are going to start changing. Uh, they're talking about the coral reefs are going to die because if you get a sea level rise and you get a desalinization of the ocean, and you also get a two degree Celsius rise in the temperature, a lot of the sea life will not be able to survive and you're gonna have the coral reefs die. Now, if the coral reefs die, that's where all the life in the sea is, is living at. But on top of that, they're saying right now, the scientists are, are estimating that at, in 23 years, the sea will be devoid of life. So we're over overfishing, there's so much uh, crap in the ocean and so much uh, uh, problems. You're having things like we're seeing a lot of problems even right now. This is we're talking 23 years they're talking about. But right now we're seeing stuff like like uh, great white sharks and stuff beaching themselves. And nobody seems to know why. There's like whole schools of dolphins that are beaching themselves. And it's partly due, I believe, to the fact that the ocean is getting so inhospitable to animals to live that they want to jump out of the fucking water you know and that's basically where where we're at right now we're 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 fishing so much in the popul and we're throwing so much crap into the ocean that these these fish don't even have anything that's that's decent to eat and they're actually dying they're dying off and we're going to see all this happen within the next 50 years there's going to be so much problems and it's going to get bad real bad and i think that people just don't realize what's coming and they want to have these rosy glasses and act like everything's going to be just fine it's just going to go along they don't realize it's coming to an end and it's coming to an end quick and if you don't start preparing and start making plans there's going to be no food you know we're going to start having droughts in places where it used to have rain it's going to have a drought in places where they used to have a drought it's going to be raining they're going to have tsunamis they're going to have all these you know these crazy storms they're going to it's going to it's going to get bad and and it's not going to be a fucking joke and in many places in the southern hemispheres it's already happening there's there's villages that have had a sea level rise of 5 miles there's a city there's a city that they actually had to close the whole country down it was a it was a ocean a uh, place where everybody would go for visits and you know take take sea rides and boats down there and shit like that and it was a tropical paradise and in that place everybody has had to actually migrate to other places because they had a five mile sea level rise the the sea actually came all the way up into their town you know and this is what we have to look forward to and it's going to get worse and worse and it's sneaking up on everybody and the the thing is, is if we can do something now it's still not going to change the 16 foot sea level rise because a lot of people don't realize that the the environment that we're living in right now it takes the the earth 25 years to get to where to where you know we are so we are actually living right now with what we've done in 1991 so we don't know if the scale has already tipped you know we may not be able to do anything. I mean, it may be in the next five or ten years that something really crazy goes on that the the entire environment on the planet just fucks fucks itself off. And we might have already got to that point, but we don't know. You know, because we haven't even got to the point right now where Saddam Hussein decided to burn the fucking oil wells in Iraq, and they were burning for months and months. You know, we haven't even got to that destruction of the environment yet. You know, so we don't know 
what's really going to happen in our environment, you know, and how bad it's really going to get. And and people just want to act like, oh, it's all bullshit. It's not going to happen. But 97% of all scientists agree. And there's only like 28 scientists that are paid off to say that it's not the case. And we want to live on our laurels and act like this isn't going to happen. But the problem that I have with it is the people that do this with everything in life, when they say, well, I don't believe it's true because there's these studies that say it's not true. Like I'm an eighth, I'm an, I'm a uh, vegan. You know, these people that say like eating meat's good for you. Well, I look at it like this. If, if you can do something to improve the environment, to improve your health, even if there's no proof that it's going to be the case, um, what if it is, you know, if it, if it, if, if there's really no climate change and you do a bunch of stuff that creates jobs, that makes uh, life better, that creates electric cars and wind and solar and all these things, and you start doing that now, what would that harm? Would that not improve the environment? But if you do nothing, what is that going to do? Because if it is true and you do nothing, you've just destroyed society. You know, so I would rather do something, even if it's not true, than to do nothing and have it become true. Because if it if you've done nothing and you haven't prepared and something happens, you're going to be dead. So I would rather I would rather start trying to do come up with alternative sources of energy, and try to make electric cars the reality, and try to get all this stuff happening now, before you have to do it like on an on a fucking like quick you know before things are like everything goes to shit and you're like oh shit we got to do something right now and it's like well motherfucker you had 25 years to come up with this shit you know you wanted you wanted to make all these billions of dollars off oil and gas and rape the environment and then now that everything's fucked up in your own family your own kids your own the old your own family that you you were trying to make all these billions of dollars to to give all that money to doesn't have a life there's no fresh water there's no food there's nothing for them to eat and now you're the fucking asshole and now you want to do something you know that's that to me is the stupidest thing that you can do i would rather do something now and a lot of these people need to realize this shit and stop fucking living on their laurels and acting like it's never going to happen you know like oh climate change is bullshit not from what all the scientists are saying you know every like i say 97 percent of scientists are saying that right now we're looking at a 16 foot sea level rise now when you're talking about 16 foot sea level rise and the tide comes in you're you're talking about 22 to 25 feet now if you look at any sea any area that means the water where I'm living at right now, the water is going to be up to my house where I'm living at now. And I'm like five miles from the ocean, you know. So, I mean, it's going to destroy entire environments. Half of Japan will be gone. Okinawa will be completely underwater, you know. So, I mean, there's, it's, you're going to have this huge migration of people moving to places and they won't even have food, you know. There won't be any food for them to eat when they get there. I'm, I'm, just, I'm, glad I'm glad that I get to fucking have my dream of, of getting to see the apocalypse. It's going to be fucking glorious. Everyone's <laughs> yeah. freaking the fuck out. And I'm just yeah. like, I know I'm fucked, but this is what I was waiting for. Yeah. 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 I just want to see yeah. the girls. The girls will just be like the rest of the guys. Any guys that are left over will be able to like make houses and live and you know, hunt and grow food. They'll find places to live and everybody, all these fucking loser mangina simps that try to live off of uh, helping women do everything, they'll all die off because they don't know how to fucking live anymore. You know, they don't know how to make it survive. So there'll be all these really cool guys that'll be left over and all the women that will hang out with them, you know. But there will be a lot of women that will be these fucking, like, uh, women that hang off the guys trying to get them to do everything for them and grow them food and make shit for them and a lot of guys will will get to the point where they'll be like bitch get the fuck out of here you know i got this other girl that's actually helping me you're just fucking hindering me you're trying to live off me and use me fuck you get away you know and then we'll have an actual fucking patriarchy yeah exactly 
Exactly. That's what will end up happening. And they don't realize patriarchy is why we have what we got. The reason why we why we are where we are is patriarchy. And that's if we didn't have patriarchy, we'd still be living in the dark ages. Yep. You know? well, there's, 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 tri there's, there's tribes, tribes of like, uh, that are ruled, ruled by women. women. They're like in the middle of fucking nowhere. They're still living in like before the Stone Age. Yeah. Like, exactly. they're, they're stuck in time. Like they don't even have. <laughs> they don't even know how to weave fucking uh, materials and shit. They they, they live mud houses are like fucking new technology to them. Yeah. Yeah. But then you compare other you compare fucking similar tribes run by men in the sa in the same similar location, and they uh, they may not have the fucking um. You know, the, you know, the, the, the modern, modern fucking shit now, now, because now, just, just due to, uh, either, either, you know, a variety, variety of circumstances. circumstances. But, but they're, they're at least, least better, better off, you know, they, they may have an equivalent, equivalent technology level, level but, but at least they, they live in comfort, comfort for what they, they can do. do. You know, yeah. they're sustainable. <laughs> oh, yeah. man. That's why, this is, this is, this talk is actually kind of why I'm learning how to, um, I'm getting, I'm getting all my, hu um, like, hunting training done. I, like, I, yeah. I, I wanted to get a crossbow for the longest time, just yeah. because, uh, you can make crossbow bolts if you know what you're fucking doing. Yeah. But you can't easily make gunpowder and bullets unless you know what the fuck you're doing. I mean, yeah. you, it's, it requires more technical thing. There's other reasons why I want a crossbow as well. But, um, well, if, for order, me, order, if, I, if I was going to do something, I would do something that you can, uh, you can have something that will, that will last, like, mm -hmm. uh, making, uh, uh, what do they call those things? The uh, slingshot. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah, you know, because you can just pick a rock up off the ground and use yep. a slingshot. But for me, I'm a vegan, so if you're a vegan or you want to be able to actually find things that you may be able to eat, because you might not realize that a lot of the animals that will be left mm -hmm. when the fucking shit goes south might not be edible. You know? Sure, no, that's so absolutely true. Well, I'm, I'm if more you, or less thinking if, about hunting the, the greatest game of all yeah. to keep them away from my. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Exactly. yeah. Well, yeah. well, if you if you can get like uh, a book and start reading and and like reading about uh, herbiculture and and horticulture and all these kind of things and and like natural plants that are edible, like get Native American uh, uh, like books on on agriculture and, and like uh, roots and plants that they eat and all that kind of stuff. And you can study that stuff and go out in the environment where you live and find those things and find out what they are, learn how to prepare them, see what they taste like, find out what their uh, chemical uh, com abilities are, uh, what's their nutritional values, things like that. If you can get all that stuff done now, eventually when this stuff happens you'll actually be prepared you know yeah, and, and everybody else will be starving to death and you'll be walking out in the fucking forest and grabbing food you'll be getting be fucking mushrooms the trees and shit. Be awesome yeah. Just getting alive. yeah yeah <laughs> this, is this, is why, this is this is why i'm a scary, I'm a scary motherfucker. motherfucker don't mess with yeah. me <laughs> yeah it'll be it'll be it'll be great you know and that's that's basically what needs to happen a lot of people need to realize that this isn't a fiction this isn't a mad max movie it's coming you know, it's yep. not a question of if, it's when, you know, and it's it's basically what we're looking at right now is in our lifetime. I'm 40, I'm going to be 43 next month, and we're talking in 50 years, you know, which means I'll be about 90 years old, you know, but before I'm 90 years old, this could all go to shit before mm -hmm. then, you know, it could oh, be yeah, when yeah. I'm 70, all this shit will go to shit. So if you know how to survive and you know how to like eat off the land and you know how to build your own house and you know all that stuff, you're gonna need to know that because it's gonna it's coming. You know. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know. The thing is, what I'll, I really I'll worry. Find me, I'll, find I'll find me a nice, nice handsome, handsome man, man to fucking take care of me. Don't worry. Yeah, about exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What I have a hard time with is a lot of a lot of countries, just like in Japan, a lot of countries are, uh, they're their uh, electrical systems mm -hmm. are set up off of uh what everybody every, there's all these people you know like like uh thunderfoot and all these guys that talk about the nuclear power plants how how great they are the problem is is there's so much uh uh like waste that comes off of those yes and we don't have any way to dispose of that waste so in perpetuity we have to train nuclear people to stand there and and take care of the waste so that it doesn't leak into the environment for 10,000 years 
that's how long it's going to take for that stuff to di dissipate. So Absolutely. for 10,000 years, we have to worry about whether that shit's going to leak into the environment. But the problem is, is when sea levels rise, most of our electrical plants are along the outskirts of cities, like in New York. We have mm -hmm. nuclear plants in New York that are right off the ocean, which means they're going to get flooded out in the next, like, 20 years, you know. So with 16-foot sea level rises, those are going to be underwater, which means they're not going to be producing electricity anymore. And once they blow up, they're going to be exactly like fucking uh, Chernobyl. They're going to be mm -hmm. exactly like Fukushima. And you're going to end up destroying not only the environment around them and irradiating it, which means half of New York will be underwater and nuclear, you know, they'll be irradiated. But you're also going to destroy the ocean as well because those environments are going to get irradiated just like they are in Japan, you know. So you're going to end up with, like, fish with three feet on them, you know. So, mm -hmm. I mean, you're... It, it, a lot of shit is going on, and, and people, when they talk about climate change and you say something like, you know, the, the sea level rise or something like that, they're like, uh, so what, I'll just move in town. You know, I'll, I'll move further in. I'll move to Montana or something like that. And they don't realize, like, it's not just that. There's so much more to it. There's, like, the tornadoes and the, the cyclones and the, the, like, this year we've had the, uh, a record number of, uh, of uh, uh, typhoons, you know. And we actually had the highest typhoon on record, the one that came from uh, a really strange angle even. It came from, from east, from the west to the east and hit in uh, California, or it hit in uh, New Mexico like a few months ago. And they only thought, they're, they're, uh, the typhoon uh, scale only goes up to 8, and this was an 8.3. They never even thought it could get that high, and they said that the winds were 210 miles an hour, which they never even thought that could happen, you know? And what's really weird is just in the last, the last few uh, weeks, we had a storm here, and I really wish I could have. Uh, I, I really wish I could have uh, uh, videoed it. I was going to get up my video camera and do it, but it would happen at like ten o'clock at night, and I was sleeping. There was these crazy like lightnings, where it, it was a lightning bolt, and then immediately after the lightning, I heard the thunder, and it wasn't just like a clap of thunder and then it went away. It, this thunder went on for like forty-five seconds. And it was just this huge, massive thing. I've never heard anything like that in my entire life. And then what was really funny, I watch a, a, a YouTube uh, a YouTube doer, uh, video person, that's actually friends with Fun for Louie. And uh, she did a video in Miami uh, just the other day. And that same storm, I think, ended up in Miami, and it had the same thunder and lightning. And... It was, she even said it was like the craziest thing she's ever heard. She's never heard anything like that. And this is, I think, what, what's going to end up happening. We're going to have more thunderstorms, more severe flooding. We're going to have erosion, crop erosion. Like you'll plant crops and nothing will grow because it'll be so uh, fucked up, you know. And then when you, when you live in Montana and there's a fucking six tornadoes that go through in a week, you know, People just don't understand the the devastation that's going to be coming. Okay, you know? so, so all, right, all right, I got a question, question then. then. Uh, so, uh, so which so ones are going to be? Is it going to be fucking uh, everyone going underground, or we're going to build fucking sea uh, sea domes? Which one? Uh, well, that, well, that's the thing. I think if they go underground, you're probably going to get flooded out. If you mm -hmm. build Perfect. sea domes, the the ocean is going to be uninhabitable and it's going to be toxic. And if you're living out there, you're going to die as well. You know, you're not going to be able. To, yeah, you're not. It's it's going to be to the point where basically we're coming to, to a time I believe in the next hundred years definitely where the the human population unless it leaves this planet, is going to be doomed. We're gone. You know, but, we've um, already I, fucked I, I, up I the planet so much that. I, 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 I saw a documentary possibly maybe about, about ten years, years ago that said, said that. that <laughs> Japan already the growing, growing sort of, sort of like, like under sort of like, sort of like under, under underwater, underwater under the ground, ground sort of like, like cities, cities 
I don't know if I don't know if that was true because you know now like a lot of these documentaries that these people make seem to be some sort of a sort of I don't know some sort of like MK Ultra mind trip idea you know idea so it's like you just think to yourself just think to yourself you know I mean. I mean, I mean, what you're, you're saying, saying is very, very, very important, important, but the world full of narcissistic, narcissistic women or manginas, they, they can just, just about, about, you know, they're, they're, they're more interested, interested in contouring, contouring. Yep. You, know, you know, more, more interested, interested in contouring, in contouring or, or some, some other sort of thing, thing than, than actually, actually getting, getting their, their asses and, and learning how to forage and all of these things. I mean, Well, that's the thing that I think is going to be great is as as the society falls and as things start becoming more dire, people will start not giving them a platform because they won't care what they have to say. When yep. like, like all the people that put their money into uh, gold, when you get uh -huh. to a point where you just want some water and food and a warm place to stay for the night, exactly. nobody's going to give a fuck about your fucking gold. You yeah, know? what does gold, gold do for you? you know yeah, what, I mean? what they're going to say is, do you, do you got a chicken? You know, you can well, stay here funny. for the night if you got a chicken so I can make dinner. It's you funny know? you should say that. It's, it's funny you should say that. that. When I was when doing my like, study, study, you know, law, law and everything like that, I used to read a lot of treatises. And there was this, I can't, I don't know if it's still on my laptop, but there's this treatise that I read. And it was made like probably in the early 1900s. And it was saying how... The individual, the individual that wrote it was basically it was saying how even, even then, then they, they discovered discover that you can you can you can, you can extract gold from anything, anything. Water, water, air particles, anything, anything that you, you sand, sand that you can extract, extract the, the, the the building blocks of gold from anything. anything. And then they yeah. further on stated to say gold, gold water, water. How do how do they phrase it? Phrase it as you're going to have more problems getting water or Water's, water's going to go, go out, out before, before gold, gold than any, any other, other precious metal, metal ever does. does. And yeah. when I read that about four or five years ago, I went, wow. Because, because those treatises of those times, you know, not, not just any Tom, Dick and Harry who spent, spent about five, five years, years writing in the treatises, treatises, actually getting their facts right and all of this sort of stuff. And it made me think, so all of this talk about precious metals, that's right, I used to buy a lot of silver years ago. And then, and then, you know, a few of my friends, oh, you know, should I buy gold and silver? I said, well, just look at it this way. When you haven't got any food, you're not going to be able to eat that silver coin. Oh, exactly. And, 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 most and nobody's going to give you anything now. for it. Nobody's going to yeah. nobody's going to want to buy your fucking quarter so and that, that, that people, and give you something is, that you can eat. You know, most people don't even know about it. Yeah, yeah, this is why bartering systems were so popular for a long, long time. Yeah, exactly. because you get something, you get something of value that's yeah. valuable to you. So the yeah, deal like their is daughter for a couple of pigs. Well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you can you can get you can get well, one pig for two more, right? <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. It's, it's funny it's funny how like you know you know i studied up in the united nations and all of this sort of stuff as well it's funny how they talk about how you know human trafficking human trafficking is um, um it, it's a crime you know blah 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 but then when you look at the court systems in america when you look at the you know job systems when you look at every other system it is predicated on human trafficking so it's like you know these are the funny things about this whole ideas of gold this whole ideas of you know you can't go back to bartering oh my god it's just an archaic way no it's not an archaic way. It's a way that works when, you know, if, if, you, if, you, you know, if, 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 if I want to, let's say, if, if I want a table made or I want something, you know how to do it. And like, you know, what do I have that you might be interested in? I've got a bottle of rum. You might not have any rum. Oh, yeah, you know, I'll swap, I'll swap three hours of your labor. Yeah. Well, well, what's really cool is the reason why that works is is it's usually not something like that that ends up happening. It's like somebody has something they want and somebody else has something they want. And like, I don't know how to fix this guy's roof, you know, but he has this thing that I want. And then this other friend has something that I can do for them for that person to get something. And it becomes like this really quickly escalating thing where like i'm doing something for somebody else that actually somebody else somebody else's friend of somebody else wants done so that i can get something from that person and there's somebody that wants something from me 
and I'm part of that of what I'm doing is actually helping that person as well. So it becomes like this whole society of like people helping each other, and in some cases not even knowing it, just so that the society can succeed. And that's what needs to end up happening. And and money will have nothing to do with that fucking but, paper. But, 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 pa- don't nobody's going to give a fuck about some paper. But have you noticed know, this, this is happening right, right now, now? Like, like you, you know, know, with, with open, open source, source technology, technology, with software, software. it's like yeah. more and more people, even, even on, on YouTube, YouTube the conversations that we're, that we're having now, now it's, it's like it's it's, it's almost like a natural thing where people just you know progressing. It's not even a devolvement. It's like a it's like a natural progression to say, do you know what the information? is, is what, what is needed. needed. So, we're, so gonna, we're gonna I'm gonna, gonna do content, content. You're, you're gonna, gonna do content, we're gonna, gonna talk about these things. things. We're gonna, gonna start, start doing open, open source stuff, stuff because, because more and more people feel that the trans you know, if it, if it's, it's true, true that, that you know, know the, the, the ones, ones before us, us the, the uh, what what you what call them prehistoric man died out because you know if it's that's true you know but if it's true that prehistoric man died out because they didn't pass information amongst, amongst each, each other, other. Then, then you know, you know this, this is the is same, same sort of thing with you know feminism, feminism or, or, or or any, any sort, of sort of group of people, people you know i mean yeah, japan, japan is a great is a example, example of, you know even, even though, though they got, got to the height of you know technology, technology and all of this, this sort of stuff, stuff. But, but then when it came to the fundamentals of actually like you know knowing about these things and having the right information so that your economy and so your people flourish it seems that they failed on that side so i'm actually seeing it now that a lot more people, people men, men as, as per usual, usual are getting, getting together, together virtually and, and passing, passing information, information with each other because, because they, they know, know that, that where else, else you know if we don't have this information we're all gonna we're die, die out, out. exactly Maybe, you know and well so many of them like what? so many of them here are like living at home with their parents and they, and they they might be like computer programmers where they're building things or they're working for Toyota and they're actually designers and stuff like this but they'll actually be like living at home with their parents eating ramen noodles they they wear like two different color socks you know their 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 actual way of living is very um childlike you know so they're very smart but they're only it's kind of like the the uh they're very smart in one way you know and they don't know how to survive past that and you know for like the uh environment that we're living in right now one way to show how it's how it's getting ready to to go is a lot of millennials are getting into bitcoin you know and people are starting to realize the the complete lack of value of money and people are starting to to basically barter with bitcoin and they're they're actually able to buy things off Amazon and people are starting to do stuff like that. But also, I've, I've, I've seen, uh, uh, there's, there's a restaurant, restaurant that, um, or, or sorry, restaurant, it's like a, like a restaurant, restaurant bar that's uh, right, below right below my office, office and they accept bitcoins. bitcoins. Yeah, it's like holy well, shit, that, it's, it's, it's yeah. becoming mainstream now. <laughs> yeah, well, that's what's that's what's happening. More people are starting to realize that this gold and silver and all this stuff isn't really working, and Bitcoin is kind of like a barter system. You know, so you're 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 basically going to end up having watching people uh, more and more start to realize that the paper doesn't have really any any value. You know, it's funny. It's funny. And, and it also that, doesn't have anything backing it up because if you look at the way the banking system works, if you go to a bank and you ask them for you know a hundred thousand dollars, all they do is type into a computer and they say, okay, you, there's a hundred thousand dollars in your account now. And then you go out and you work your ass off and you have to pay the bank back, but you don't pay the bank back $100,000. You pay them back $140,000. So the money that you're paying back is real. The money they gave you is fake. It came out of nothing. They just gave you a line of credit. So it's it's basically the entire system is built on on fake, on nothing. And yep, yep. what needs to reali- what people need to realize is that that's that's not a way to have a society, and you're not going to improve society by doing that. All you're going to do is make rich people richer. And once people start to realize that, which won't take long, like I say, this is going to happen in the next fifty years. When stuff uh, gets real bad, people are going to be like, "Fuck a bank! I don't need a I bank." Was, I, was I was actually, actually seeing, seeing something, something uh, having this conversation, conversation, conversation yesterday, yesterday about, about uh, people, people getting pissed, pissed off, off. So, so uh, about, about rich, rich people. people. Was um, um, you know what's, you know what's going, going on in England, England right? With, uh, uh, with like, like the like government, government and shit. shit. In one I, way, I only know a little bit. Little bit. Uh, someone, was someone was saying, someone was saying there was a local government, government that was actually trying to char- char- um, 
charge, charge um, um like elderly, elderly people, people like a, a, a premium, premium uh, uh to basically, basically come over and, and if they fall over they have like a basically like life you know fucking whereas if you fall over i can't get up and you press the fucking thing and they come over they charge like the elderly an extra premium on top of what they already pay for um basic services um, um, and, and it's just like, like a, it's, 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 this is just one, one example of how they have been fucking people over. And, and the, 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 basically the rulers rule of the country was, uh, uh, David Cameron, his fucking, his, fucking, his pig, pig, fuck, uh, pig head fucking pig assholes that have been described as, <laughs> as <laughs> by the person I was talking to. Basically, doing this because they're not exclusively doing it, of course not. But fucking, uh. He was just preparing for when he got married, that's all. Yeah, because, yeah, because, 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 because I, I, get I get where you're coming, coming. But, but, but what, what I know about that is when I, when I studied, um, um, you know, financial instruments and generally accepted accounting principles, and what I saw was that, you know, insurance is the biggest Ponzi going. And plus, when you, when you have the fact that um, there are no pensions, I know people that are OAP, they're, they're, barely, they're barely making it, you know, a lot of more people are returning back home because, you know, the, the jobs are not there, so it's like, it's, it's, it's funny, funny. That's, that's just a natural, just a natural thing, thing to do, to do because this bailing, bailing, this whole thing about bailing, bailing and you actually even now, now you have your money in the bank, they charge you a certain amount. Most, most, most banks, banks, most of the high, high speed banks, banks around where I live in, like, you know, I mean, effectively, effectively, like they're shutting, so you can see that it's a natural, you know, is a natural turn for them to start, you know, seizing people's like monies, monies or whatever in the banks, banks but, but going, going back, back to what, what you know you both were talking about um things, things like bitcoin, bitcoin. It's, it's funny, funny how, how like people, people are reverting to something like bitcoin, bitcoin cryptocurrency that in itself doesn't, doesn't exist, exist anywhere apart from virtually instead, instead of them just, just going back to the old traditional bartering it's just, just weird because if you if you look at it what money, what money is, is intrinsic value has got to be backed, backed by this, but money is actually backed, backed by the sweat and labor of the people in the country per capita, and, and then that is used to forward loans to the future. This is why we have the problems that we have now, because, you know, no one's going to, there's not enough jobs because of the offshore and the businesses, but then they look at it as, Money is meant to, you know, so a dollar, supposedly a dollar is a, is a metric ton for weighing something. The pound is the silver because it's pound sterling. So when you have a situation where most people now, instead of them to sort of like say, do you know what, forget silver, forget, you know, a paper with some dead guy on it, blah, blah, blah. Let's just go back to the bartering. What's even happening now is the next form of that is where Bitcoin and cryptocurrency is being used as a need of an exchange. But that's like... Like, like a magic, magic trick, trick because, because it's, it's no you, you, you see what i'm coming from i mean money was bad enough a paper, a paper that's, that's not bad by anything, anything. But, but instead of people just to say you know we're, we're just going to go, go back, back to bartering, bartering. The, next the next thing is, is bitcoin, bitcoin which, which it could be viable we don't probably to a certain extent but still people should just say because money you know the best definition of money i like is trust you know, you know, it's, it's trust. trust, you know, you know like, you know, it's, 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 you've got to have, have trust. trust, you know, my word is my bond, I promise I'll do this, I pay, promise to pay the bearer, blah, 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 blah the sum of whatever. whatever. So it's like, like the, the restaurant, restaurant below, below your workplace should, should be, because people still have a thing with each other, should be able to go in there and say, do you know what, I want this meal, you can come to my house next week, I'll pay you a nice cake, or, you know, I have this pig and blah, 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 because eventually, with, With Bitcoin, Bitcoin, even, even I'm starting start to get, get into, into it and everything, there's, there's going to be a point where, if it's true, true that you're going to have these massive sort of electric cut, cut cutouts and all computers will be, you know, the worst case, case scenario, scenario. People, people are not going to have their Bitcoin, Bitcoin they're, they're not going to have their cash, they're not going to have their gold or silver, all they're going to have is what they can do. Yep, and that's the problem that you're going to find. That's what's really going to be cool because there's going to be a huge wake-up call because a lot of women are going to realize, and these mangina simps are going to realize, they have nothing to offer. You know, when all when your entire life has been pushing papers around an office, and the shit goes down and hits the fan, and you've been living in a city your entire life, and you don't know how to grow vegetables, and you don't know how to grow food, you don't know how to hunt, you don't know how to how to build a house on your own. You don't know how to how to like make your own fireplace and make your own fire pit to cook food. 
and you don't know how to do any of these things to actually survive and live, you're going to die out. And you're going to start looking around for men that know how to do it. And that's why some men will actually be able to stop white knighting and like go find some guy and be like, look, you, you're good at this. Can you teach me? And the, those guys will actually survive. But the guys that are white knight simps will go try to hang out with women. And those women will realize that those guys are losers. And eventually those <laughs> women will die off. Both of them will die off. And the ones that are smart enough, the women that are smart enough, will start to hang out with the guys that really know what they do. And they'll go back to a patriarchy. The patriarchy that they think exists, which never did. The patriarchy has always only existed for the rich. The people that were controlling everybody else, the guys that worked and did all the labor, they were, they've never been in a patriarchy. You well, know? Said. Well, well said. said. A, a, lot a lot of people, people don't realize that. that. And, and I'm, I'm, I'm happy, happy you said, said that because it's, it's, it's almost, almost like, like an elusive, elusive obvious. obvious. Yep. Where you know yeah, this, this idea, idea and, you know, well, 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 said, well, well said, well said. said. But yeah. gentlemen, are, are you going to do, do this again, again next week? week or yeah, I do it every every then? Saturday at eleven. I send out the I usually send out the invites at uh, ten thirty, my time, and then uh, I go live usually around eleven. So real, it's like real, it's right. like two o'clock a.m. right now here. Real, real. Next, 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 next week, let's do it again. I've got a meeting up an old cool. friend, you know, no, going no, out with it. We're going to watch Star Trek. Trek. I mean, Star Wars. <laughs> Star Wars. Star Wars. Yeah, cool. we'll, we'll, see. we'll see how that, <laughs> that goes. goes. Okay. It, it, it was fantastic, it was fantastic. Uh, gentlemen. It was really my pleasure really speaking to you both. Awesome, awesome conversation. conversation. And, and have, have a great, great week. And hopefully we can do next weekend. Yeah, sounds good. Be well. Take care. Thank you. Thank you. I actually... I actually, I actually won't be around, be around next, next weekend because I uh, will be in Oklahoma with my mom. Oh. Okay. Happy yeah. trip. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I was, yeah, I was actually arranging the, uh, the, the shuttle, shuttle to, to the, the airport, airport during this whole thing. thing.